can it be without faith reality? Never be charity. The enemy, your buddy, cover for society. Damn right, bummy down here, gonna fight you. Right here, shadow, 10 o'clock direction. Seize the moment, this is the nation. Your line's slow motion, give me motivation. Breathe out now, and then I'm a rival. Round up around, sit out, all over. Rhyme like a roller, don't come in a crowd. Watch out the moon, they're this too loud. Get more this down, and bombs won't ground. Surround up, don't eat your case, this enemy's brutal. Form of the truth, there ain't no truth. You're the only one, one world, one love. But the battle goes on, shadows all mass destruction. Oh, yeah. Destruction. Destruction. Destruction.
don't need charity. The enemy, your buddy, coming for society. Damn, my bum's not here, gonna fight you. Right here, shadow, 10 o'clock direction. Seize the moment, then destroy the nation. You rise slow motion, give me motivation. Get out now, and stand on the rival. Rounds up around, get out, all over. Rhyme like a roller, don't come in a crowd. Watch out the moon, they this around. Get more this down and bomb the whole ground. Surround up, don't eat the piss, cause enemies brutal. Form of the truth, there ain't no truth. You're the only one, one world, one love. But the battle goes on, shadows all mass destruction. Oh, yeah. Let's down, let's down, down. Destruction. Destruction. everyone OG over here in plants welcome back welcome back to another PE live today we got a great nightcap for you guys uh, or we had a very interesting um, earlier session of uh, players across Nintendo if you haven't seen that that is our recap of all the best Nintendo news for the week so that was already up I actually put that live on the channel so you guys can watch that um it's been an interesting week to say the least been an interesting week to say the least uh shout outs to matthew hammond already donating here and uh becoming the top stream ninja uh knocking off a good amount of hp from the uh stream boss stat right here and he says uh matthew hammond with the dollar donations just watched the pe podcast smash smash character that no one is talking about is 16-bit john madden 16-bit john madden so that's that's what uh matthew hammond is thinking that uh could be in the <laughs> smash next is uh 
John Madden, like boom, boom, is, is like boom. Traducken. Is that is that like his his uh his move list is boom and traducken? Pow. Bam boom pow traducken. That'd be the, like the best. That'd be that'd be pretty good. He'd definitely be a heavy. For sure he'd be a heavy. For sure he'd be a heavy. Um, there's no question about that. Um, <laughs> all right. So let's go ahead and put Matthew um, Matthew Hammond up. Matthew H. And we're going to get you up with the $3 donation. Thank you so much, man. That, that does make you the top stream ninja for the night. Um, all right. So uh, so let's see here. Let's see here, guys. We got a random Q&A today. So you guys can ask me questions. We're generally going to be just speaking about a bunch of variety of different things here. We might even go an hour 30 on this one, just depending on how things go. Um, but we're going to be talking about most addictive games. There's been a ton of these games that have been coming out on the Switch and on other systems just in general that have these elements that make them like super addictive. So we're going to be talking about that tonight. Plus, we're going to be talking about some other things as well. Um, I do want to make sure that we go over some Ninja news. So once again, Players of Cross Nintendo, that is up. What Matthew's talked about in terms of the PE podcast, that is up for Patreon members and YouTube. Um, Patreon, sorry. Patreons and also YouTube members or Elite Ninja as we call them. That's up for all of you guys to watch. Um, early access um, if you're part of Patreon. Any tier on Patreon or YouTube member, that is up for you on the community tab or on Patreon so you can watch. So cool stuff there. Um, other things, Katana Zero, we do have a gameplay video up. Uh, part number two, that game is awesome. I don't really care. I don't think I'm going to care how much views it gets. I'm going to do a complete playthrough of Katana Zero. So I'm on the way to doing that complete playthrough of Katana Zero. Um, and then, uh, we also had my, uh, switch, it was like a switch July, like video is going to break your wallet, uh, thing. And I forgot God Eater, freaking forgot God Eater, which comes out a day after, uh, Dragon Quest Builders 2, by the way. So just, oh gosh, I think it's July 12th for God Eater. So yeah, I forgot that. So I might add that into another video. So we, we have that. Um, and yeah, just, we had a ton of cool videos th throughout this whole week. So make sure you check them out. Pretty much all the live streams are live. That big five hour Joker gameplay finally finished processing. So that is up on the channel that went live last night, I think. Uh, but it was processing for literally like a whole day or something like that. So, um, that's up on the channel as well. So you guys can check that out. So hopefully all of you guys are doing well. Um, so yeah, so anyway, let's go ahead and let's get into the shout outs here. You guys give some love also to Matthew Hammond for the $3 donation to become a top stream ninja. So give him some love for that. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and let's get into the shout outs. So if you want me to say hi to you, feel free to say hi. Um, <laughs> yo, what's up, VC? How's it going today? Uh, let's see. The Spawncast is not today, guys. I don't know why people think today is the Spawncast. Today is Friday. Um, I don't know why people keep saying, this is the, the why is the spawn ah, Spawncast? Like, bruh. Like, today's Friday. Unless they're doing the spawn cast. Are they doing the spawn cast right now? Like, is that what's going on, dude? It, like, are they? It's, it's, the, I, I didn't get that message. Uh, unless they're doing it today. Um, no, I didn't get any message. So, unless they're doing it today and I didn't get the message. So, so yeah. Anyway, either way, the spawn cast is tomorrow from what I remember. Um, but anyway. Um, Vesper, what's good, man? Uh, shout outs, uh, shout outs to Vesper. Well, it doesn't matter where it's Saturday, um, where you're at. We, we are where the spawn cast is located it's not saturday today so yeah we don't go off of your time when the spawn cast starts we go off of where john is and that's that's when the spawn cast starts so it starts when with saturday for us not for you um <laughs> all right so um yeah christian i got a chance to check out check out your uh your project on twitter it looks pretty cool man i need to look into it a little bit more but it looks pretty cool just doing that website and everything um galaxy b what's up man boys and vicini what's good angel pays what's up or yeah angel page what's up uh jose what's up man uh dank meme what's up man um how's it going i've already talked about my opinions on joker like five billion times so we'll get to that in just a bit um if you haven't already seen it because it's, it's already been up uh sean diamond what's up man um let's see here okay philip made a proper apology video okay maybe that's something that we can react to maybe that's something we can watch because i did not see did he put it on his on his page? I mean, I don't know what took. I mean, is is all the legal stuff done? Is that why he did it? Is that why Philip did that? Um, let's take a look. Okay, yeah, he put up a twelve minute or two minute apology on there. So let's take a look at it. For those who don't know, Philip is a disgraced um, IGN ex IGN Nintendo editor that kind of shook up the journalism and gaming world. When it was found out that he um, plagiarized uh, multiple different things across different video gamers. So it was a big scandal that happened uh, last, or was it this year? I think it was earlier this year. It was a big scandal that happened, or last year, or whatever, 
Um, and yeah, he had a promising YouTube career where he was growing subscribers at a very fast rate. I mean, he was growing really quick and, and you know, if he didn't, if he, if he would have just kept on doing his YouTube, he probably would have been like at 300 or 400,000 subscribers because, because this guy is a top tier editor. Very good. He was also on the Spawncast before me. So, um, so yeah, he was one of the original members of the Spawncast. So, um, so yeah, any, either way. Um, Philip, uh, he put out an apology video finally. So let's, let's see what he has to say. So I'm pretty sure he wants people to watch this. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this, uh, apology video and, um, we'll check it out. Hey everyone. I'm not here to make any excuses or to try and justify my actions. I'm only here to apologize to the people that I've wronged and to everyone that I've disappointed. I'd like to start out by saying, I'm sorry, Boomstick Gaming for taking words and concepts from your Dead Cells review and passing them off as my own. It was an incredibly selfish act and as a fellow content creator, I should have known better. I realize the amount of time and effort that you must have put into creating such an elaborate and well thought out review and I can only imagine how violated you must have felt when you realized what had happened. I'd also like to apologize to Nintendo Life, Nintendo Wire, and Gadget and Polygon for using their words and ideas in a few of my videos. Specifically, Nintendo Life for my FIFA 18 review, Nintendo Wire for my Fire Emblem Heroes preview, and Gadget for my Samus Returns review, and Polygon for my Bayonetta preview. Lastly, I'd like to apologize to everyone at IGN for essentially dragging them under the bus with me. Obviously, they got a lot of hate for what I did, but please understand that I am the only person at fault here. I'm truly sorry for any turbulence that this must have caused in your personal lives because you all deserve much better than this. Once again, it was selfish of me to think that I could take from my peers and pass their ideas off as my own. And I understand the negative impact that this entire plagiarism scandal has had on, on the community. And that's entirely on me. But I hope that at the very least, it'll serve as a reminder for anyone who's looking to break into the industry not to make the same mistakes that I did. I'm not expecting to be forgiven and for everything to magically get better. I understand that that doesn't happen overnight and sometimes forgiveness doesn't happen at all and that's okay. So while I know that I can't say anything to change what I did, I hope that this can at least give these amazing creators the closure that they deserve. I truly am very, very sorry. I will never again try to pass someone else's words or ideas off as my own. I will be better. I will be original. Thank you. All right. Well, there you go. Um, let's take a look at some of these comments. What are people saying? So 500, I'm going to go ahead and hit a like. 529 likes, 121 dislikes. So people are saying kudos, man. You know, um, taking responsibility. Unexpected. People make mistakes. I mean, it's never too late. I agree with that. It's never too late. It was a sincere apology. So most people are being positive about it. Yeah, people are being positive about it, but I'm pretty sure there's people that are going to be pissed off, you know, whatever the case is. Either way, I think everybody can just put it behind them. Everybody makes mistakes. He made a big mistake. He made multiple big mistakes, and um, he's looking to kind of move on from it. So there's the apology. Yeah, it was hella late. Um, I'm thinking that's because there's not going to be any legal action against him. So I think once he can confirm that there was no legal action with all of those different sources, then he decided that, okay, here is now what I'm going to say because any one of them, because he made a lot of money off of that stuff, you know, like, especially like the FIFA that got like over half a million views or something like that. So, I mean, like he made a lot of money off that. So I think he really needed to confirm that he wasn't going to get sued to hell and back before he sat, sat there and actually talked about what he copied or what he didn't. So I don't have a problem with him waiting because I'm thinking that there's a lot of legal stuff. I mean, you want to apologize, but at the same time, you don't want to screw yourself to eternity and back, you know, when it comes to like, when it comes to fi the financial side of things, at least that's what, I mean, I would be thinking. So, I mean, you want to apologize, but then again, you don't want to be in court for years handling this type of stuff. Trust me, I'm in court right now and doing, and it's horrible. Courts, court is trash so i can understand why he waited um but yeah it's the apology that you know that should have obviously came sooner but it is what it is overall i thought it was a sincere apology he looked straight into the camera he said hey this is what it is you know this is what i'm thinking and bam and like he even went step by step on what he what he did and he apologized to everybody there so so there you go 
Um, it was a sincere apology. It was a good apology. And hopefully everybody can move on. And, um, you know, you don't have to forgive him, you know. Um, but at the same time, uh, he did apologize. And at the end of the day, I mean, Boomstick Gaming, at the end of the day, he blew up because of this whole thing. Like, nobody really knew who, who knew Boomstick was. And after this, he blew up. So, I mean, if anything, Boomstick, if, if Boomstick could take this back, he'd be like, hell no, I ain't taking it back. Boomstick got over 100,000 subscribers now. So I wish something like this would happen to me, bro. Blow up the channel. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I'm not trying to, I'm trying to make jokes about this, but I mean, at the same time, it's like, I don't think Boomstick would take it back. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, there was definitely some good that came out of this. Like, um, definitely some good that came out of this. Um, and to be honest, I mean, there's a lot of people out there that like, at the end of the day, like, it is what it is, you know? So he apologized. Uh, he said he's sorry. And there you go. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I don't have anything else to say on that. That's 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 good that he apologized. I'm happy that looks like he's going to be making content again. But in order for his channel to even somewhat grow, because it hasn't been growing, he needs to apologize proper. And I think that's really what it is here. He wants to get back to making full-scale you know, videos again, but he can't because anytime he uploads something, people just come here and say, oh, you lied or you blah, 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 blah. So he needed a proper apology. And then I think now he can go back to making the really high quality videos he makes because he does make really high quality videos. They're, they're good. It's good stuff. So uh, definitely late, but I'm glad he apologized. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, exactly. But what, what do you have to, uh, VC, what you said you don't forgive him, but why are you, why do you not forgive him for what? Like, it didn't really affect you in any type of way. So I, I don't get it. Like, it didn't affect you at all. Um, so I don't get why it's like you can't accept that apology. Like, he didn't commit murder. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, let's see here. I just want to know, like, why, why is it, like, so hard to forgive somebody, you know, based off of, like, what? Um... Who is he? I already said who he was. He was a IG. He was an IGN editor. He was an IGN Nintendo editor. He was also on the Spawncast as well. I've done content with him on the Spawncast. So, um, so yeah. <clears throat> uh, Katana Zero is the most addictive game I played in 2019. Already the most addictive game. What else have you played out of all the other addictive games? Um, let me see. I'll continue with shoutouts here. Uh, Cam is here as well uh matthew matthew you need to calm down matthew you're spamming a lot of silliness in the chat so my boy matthew calm down okay i know you're probably used to like the you know the pewdiepie style chat or the you know etica style chat or whatever the case is but just calm down man there's no need to act all crazy you know here i mean you can have fun but i don't know like you keep on spamming stuff and you're gonna get timed out or banned like i i unbanned you you know but calm down man if you keep on doing this i'm just gonna let them continue like i got Next time that you get banned, I'm just going to, like, leave it. I'm not going to unban you. So just calm down, my boy. Have fun. Ask some questions. You know, uh, connect with the chat. But there's no need to just be spamming weirdo stuff, man. We don't do that weirdo stuff here. We're, it, we we expect a lot more from you. All right, man? Um, all right. So let's let's continue on here. Um, Rob is here as well. What's up, Lizzie? How you doing today? Uh, light the fuse. What's good, man? Uh, is it um, ho Hokey? Hokey? Starlight? What's up, man? How's it going? Good to see you here. Fates, Fates Otaku thyself. What's up, man? Uh, is it Grenard? Grenard Clark. What's up, man? Uh, glad you made the video on Katana Zero. Had to pick it up instantly. Yeah, man. It's really good. It's super, super good. Katana Zero, man. One of my favorite games of 2019. Really addictive. Like, even though I finished like a, like a one level, I don't want to stop playing, but I have to because I have to do other things. Uh, and yeah, I'll be live streaming uh, Smash Brothers Ultimate after after this stream. So, so yeah, look forward to that, guys um vc made a response i didn't see it as a content creator i have had issues similar to what happened to boomstick gaming i'm not saying i hate philip i just think stealing someone's hard work and their art is like taking advantage of ones and i agree i i i agree that is i i understand that but i don't understand why somebody can't give a sincere apology and you forgive them you know what i'm saying like he's not saying obviously he said that you don't have to forgive him and i get that and and I and I understand, but he's paid the price dearly, don't you think so? Uh, but you know, you don't have to forgive him, like he said, like like he said in his own video, you don't have to forgive him, you know. Um, Rob Glass with a dollar ninety nine donation, thank you so much, Rob Glass, second donation of the stream, do appreciate that. And uh, Rob Glass says Katana Zero is great. Katana Zero is great. You guys list your most favorite or addictive games, we're more than happy to talk about those. Katana Zero is absolutely fantastic. It is such a cool game. 
a lot of style. I think they're going to, I think the game's going to do very well on the Switch. Murdoch Local says, dare I say Final Fantasy 10 HD on the Switch is much more addicting than it ever was on the PS2. It's handheld mode, bro. It's so convenient. Yeah, I think for a game like Final Fantasy, I think I'll finally be able to complete everything or 100% Final Fantasy 10. I'm going to really get into that. And I'm going to pretty much play it like for the next like year portable mode, just lying down 30 minutes, 20 minutes before bed, leveling up, doing whatever I need to do. So yeah, I'm actually finally going to get, get the, and 10 2 as well, 10 2 as well, because I haven't beat 10 2. I know the story and I know what happens, but I haven't beat 10 2 yet. So I, I'm, I can't wait to get those. I'm, sh it should be getting in the mail either this week or next week. I'm not really sure. So yeah. Um, Fates of Otaku Thyself, I need to add you first. Hey, my boy, Fates of Otaku Thyself, um, I only play against YouTube members or against uh, Patreons, Tier 2 or up. So if you want to play against me in Smash, you've, you've got um, you've to sign up as an Elite Ninja first, my boy. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to have 5 million people doing the same thing. Hey, let me add you. Hey, let me add you. Just because I run a, I run a fairly, you know, large channel, somewhat large channel, not super large or anything like that. But I mean, there's a million people that want to play and I, and there's only 300 spots on the, on the switch friends list. Um, so, so yeah, you got to add me as a, um, be a YouTube member, be an elite ninja, hit the join button, or you can go tier two or up on Patreon links in the description below my boy. And then we'll, we can get you added in. Um, let's see here. Uh, civilization games are the most addictive games. So you know what? Fury tiger, you know, he's really, really into civilization. So, yeah, I think those are pretty addictive as well, based on what I've seen. But for me, it's kind of like what Sean Diamond is saying here is um, is uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Xenoblade Chronicles 2, man, is is really what it, what it comes down to, man. That game is so addicting. Like, I used to play that game for, like, three, four-hour blocks. Um, Jose Ramirez, same thing, man. If you want to be, um, be added in in terms of uh, uh, to play, guys, it's the same thing. Uh, like I stated, uh, be a YouTube member. Um, or be a tier two or up on Patreon. That does get you into our friends list and our private Discord. So, uh, so yeah. Um, boom. Katana Zero looks cool. Yeah, man. Katana Zero is dope, man. It, it's that. That's definitely my. It's my style. It's my. It's one hundred percent my style. I'm gonna put a link, guys, for the the direct link for like a YouTube membership, just for those who want to. If you guys do want to play. Um, So, yeah. And you'll also get a shout out on screen, too, if you do member up. So, there you go. Um, Dragon Quest Builders 2 um, comes out the same day on July 12th. Dra Isn't Dragon Quest Builders 2 July 11th? Dragon Quest Builders 2 is on July 11th. I thought I just, I just I thought it was July 11th. Or is that July 12th? I thought it was July 11th. Uh, you just got Joker on the Switch. Nice, man. How you enjoying it so far? Jackson's uni uh, Universe. How you doing? How you, how you enjoying it? Um, let's see here. Um, player says, what happened to the guy you stole from? Is he doing okay? He's doing more than okay. The guy that he stole from ended up getting thousands upon thousands of subscribers. Like I said, if Boomstick Gaming, if he could take it back, he wouldn't take it back. There'd be no way in hell. If he can go back and say, if this never happened, he'd be like, nah, let it happen. Because that was the best thing that ever happened to Boomstick Gaming's channel was, was that. Dragon Quest Rivals and Devolver Digital recently said Katana Zero was the most pre-downloaded slash pre-purchased game they ever released. Really? Yeah, because I think really the um, uh, the Nintendo Direct really sold a lot of people on that game, you know. Um, Katana Zero looks awesome. Uh, loving your footage. Uh, definitely, um, uh, so far, definitely a one to get. Absolutely, it's really good. Um, Katana Zero is one of those super addictive games for me as well, man. You find GTA quite addicting? <laughs> uh, yeah, I can see why people like GTA. They find like a very addicting game. Um, Dragon Quest Builders 2 is July 12th. Okay, so it's July 12th for Dragon Quest Builders 2. There you go. VC says, Dragon... I already read your comment, VC. Why are you... You don't need to spam. You're a mod. Don't spam. Um, let's see here. Uh, what's up? Paint Fat Purple. What's good, Paint Fat Purple? How you doing today, my boy? Um... <clears throat> Yeah, because you just put it, I just saw your comment up here, then you put it the same thing. I'm just a little behind on the chat, guys. Don't worry. Um, yo, what's up, Rufus? How's it going, my boy? I had to let my dogs go out to the bathroom. I missed your response. Oh, okay. No problem then, VC. Cool. Uh, cool. Yay, free promotion. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Katana Zero? Or are you talking about Boomstick Gaming's channel? Which one? Um, don't call me Danny. What's up, man? How you doing today? Good to see you here in the chat, guys. So, yeah, man, it was interesting. I'm, I'm going to put out a little, um, yeah, but Philip did, Philip did, uh, did apologize there. So everything seems to be, 
Um, everything seems to be somewhat in order. He had over, over like nearly 5,000 views on that in like one hour. So, yeah. Um, let's see here. Yay, free promotion. Philip and, Boom, and Boomstick. Not so much Philip. Um, if you're talking about what happened with, with between the two, yeah, it was free promote. Well, Boomstick, it got caught on by everybody. You know, everybody like caught on to it. And it the fact that he was working for IGN when it happened, like I said, I wish some big editor stole something from me in terms of the, my and I and it, and it blew blew the channel up. Like I'd be like, yeah, let it happen. I mean, let's just be real here. Like Boomstick's definitely happy that this whole thing happened. I mean, obviously. It's not like he asked for it, but he's not gonna sit here and be like, "All right, this was a bad thing." It was a great thing that his his review was stolen. Let's just be real. Um, let's see. Psycho Pie says, "Katana Zero uh, does Katana Zero have a lot of content to last a while?" I'm thinking about purchasing it, but I'm hesitant. It, um, it would last a while. Well, you have to think about it this way, Psycho Pie. Psycho Pie, this is not like this is not a sixty dollar game. Like, don't think of it as like, "Oh, well, I need to get like." 500 hours out of this game it has enough content to be enjoyable but the game i don't think the game is like super super long but it's only 15 dollars. so think about it in that way you don't think about it as in like oh well is this game gonna give me like xenoblade chronicles 2 you know level of content it's not you know what i'm saying like it's not it's 15 dollars. so think about it that way man i mean this is not the type of game that you're gonna want to play for like uh, three months or it's it's not it's just not that game it's a game that for for fifteen dollars, which is literally the the price that you'll spend on like a meal sometimes between you and a girlfriend or you and a boyfriend or whatever the case, or you taking your mom out. I mean, you're fast food. It's literally the price of like you sitting down with somebody else with like a fast some fast food. Okay, so think about it that way. You know, <laughs> like <laughs> we're it's random Q and A, so you can ask me questions at any point. We're talking about most addictive games. We're talking about um. Most of the games we're talking about Joker and Smash Ultimate and um, any questions you guys want. So I'm just kind of just chatting with you guys tonight. Um, what's up, everything, Nintendo? How's it going? So yeah, <clears throat> yeah. He went from he went from exactly Boomstick went from like thirty something k to like a hundred k, so a hundred plus k. So yeah, I mean, of course that was a good thing for him. Um, let's see here. I'm fat. I need more than fifteen dollars at McDonald's. Well. Lord Chun, I mean, if you need more than that, then hey, uh, more power to you, but I'd say slow down. <laughs> Mab Intensify says, Pokemon is pretty addicting. Got to catch them all in battle and be the best like no one ever was. Yo, you know what? I, bro, that's going to be me. When Pokemon comes out on the Switch, I, bro, I'm going to be like, I'm going to be I'm gonna be the best that there ever was. Trust me. I'm going to be all over that Pokemon. That is going to be a very addictive game that I'm going to be streaming a lot. So, yeah. So, yeah, definitely. Um, let's see here. Uh, Christopher Wallace has just got my wisdom teeth removed. So glad to be resting and enjoying your channel. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Sorry about your wisdom teeth, but hey, sometimes the teeth, they're not so smart and they must be removed. Um, let's see here. Deadlock7 says, talk about coincidence. I literally unsubbed from Philip yesterday. Anyway, better late than never, eh? Anyway, Katana Zero getting that ASAP. Well, I mean, we'll see. Maybe he can earn your trust back with some quality content coming up. Um, I enjoyed Bomb Chicken on the Nintendo Switch. Is that, I've heard about that game, Bomb Chicken. Is it really addictive? Uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild says, best Final Fantasy. Um, or are you into our JRPGs much? Or are, hold up. Or are you into that JRPG series much? I know you like some other JRPG series. I like Final Fantasy, but my favorite one is probably Final Fantasy VI. Um, understandable. Thanks, Persons and Dawson. All right. Yeah, yeah. You're probably going to, like I said, you're probably going to get like, I think it's like a five, six, seven hours, something in that range. There's, there's replayability though. Like, cause there's certain options that you can take, you know, so you can replay the game, but it, like I said, it's only $15. So like, don't expect, you know, don't expect the game that's going to last forever. You know, just like most, you know, small games, unless it's something like, like Stardew Valley or something like that. Most indie games that are like $15 or whatever. I mean, you can't expect them to be super, super long, you know? Um, Wave Symphony says, how do you control the cursor in Katana Zero? I'm assuming uh, you're using the Pro Controller. The cursor in Katana Zero? I don't know what you're talking about, any cursor. Um, you you slash people with Y, and then you throw you throw bottles and stuff, and you throw knives and all that with like the stick and the A button. So I don't know what cursor you're talking about. Oh, you, I haven't uh, unlocked whatever you're saying. Um, let's see, just bought yet another d Zombie Defense HD. It's addicting. You know, I have a review code for that, and they've been telling, they've been asking me to play that game. I just haven't really had any time, but I want to get around to that. So you, you really, you really like that game, David? Um, 
I, I know you said you don't play much, so you're actually playing a game on your Switch, but I know you said you've been on the road for a while. So is that the game that you're playing on your Switch? Yo, what's up, Goku Jr.? How you doing today, my boy? Um, let's see here. Uh, Dakebeam says, just uh, top 10 Jutsu users in Naruto Universe, including Shippuden and Boruto, bro. That's 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 a comment. Dakebeam, I ain't answering all that, bro. That's too long. I ain't going to sit here and think about all the top 10 Jutsu users in damn Naruto and all that. What is what is this? An anime con or something? Bro, yeah, that's something you got to that's something I got to do later. Not right now. DJ Piper says players it's what gaming chair are you um, chilling in? Um this is a, a DX racer. Uh do you rate it uh, for long since in front of the screens? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's not bad. Um Let's see here. Um, VC says, it can be addictive. However, personally, I only got a few hours in Bomb Chicken. Okay, a few hours. So Bomb Chicken is only like three hours or like how long is the game? And like how much does it cost? Bomb Chicken is a great platformer. Okay, a great platformer. Michael O'Brien says, Bomb Chicken is a cool five-hour game. The mechanics are fun and different. It's not, it's, it's not very varied. So it's good that it's short and doesn't outstay its welcome. Yeah, I think with some of these smaller games, like Katana Zero and all that, you don't necessarily want them to outstay their welcome and all that. So... So, yeah, absolutely. Um, the most addictive game in my library is Zelda Breath of the Wild by far. The world is so much fun. I keep coming back. Um, also, I don't know uh, what topic we're on. We're on random Q&A, and we're also... Guys, if, if you see random Q&A, that means we're pretty much talking about anything or any of the topics in the title. So, most addictive games, you can talk about Joker and Smash. We're just kind of chilling today because we've already had so many podcasts and so many different things. There's not really anything new in terms of news outside of just, you know, stuff that we've already talked about, that you guys have already seen, videos and all that. So, we're just chilling. I'm hanging out with you guys tonight, talking about some stuff before we do Smash Brothers later tonight, which, like I said, I'll play some rounds, but, you know, I might just... just relax like just relax for tonight man um the online co-op makes it fun the zombie defense game david um let's see you broke oj bro um oh my god yo 10th gen with the five dollar donation becoming the top stream ninja for the night all right here we go uh, thank you so much, 10th Gen. I appreciate that with a $5 donation. And uh, 10th Gen says, can I get some RIP music? I have I have to pay the IRS 1400 bucks. Yikes. Um, 10th, uh, 10th Gen. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely get you some um, rest, in, rest in pieces music. We'll definitely get you some rest in pieces. Sorry about that, man. Uncle Sam come, coming for you, boy. Man, he coming for you. Um, all right, let's see here. We'll play. We'll play the. We'll play a little nice. We'll play, some, play a nice little uh, game. Oh, Super Mario World game over remix. So it's sad, but then again, at the same time, you know what I'm saying? It's okay. You're here. We're chilling for you. We got your back. Got to pay the IRS, but it's okay, man. It's okay. You'll, you'll be all right. Super loud. Too loud. It shouldn't be loud anymore. That's fine. Um, you missed my incredible my incredible pitch for a video idea and title. What did you? Instead of saying you missed it, just say, "Hey OJ, you might have missed it, but just what what is it?" You should make a video called the best upcoming Nintendo Switch exclusive, and it's you playing a demo of Box Boy and Girl. Nah, I'm good, bro. Um, let's see here. Bomb chicken uh, length depends on if you want 100% it like I did. It was 8 to 10 hours if you take it slow. Okay. Um, and here I am whining about $75. Bruh. So just run away from the... Just run. Just keep running. Just keep running from the IRS. Just keep running. They'll, they'll catch you eventually. So it doesn't matter. You can run all you want to. So. Box Boy looks good for the 9, uh, nine euros. Or, I think it's British pounds. British pounds it costs. Yeah, I mean, it looks good. I'm just not, I'm not a puzzle dude, you know? I'm just not a puzzle guy. So, I don't, I like to make content that I like. 
that I, stuff that I like that it's based around. So, I mean, like, I'm not going to sit here and BS you guys and say, the best upcoming Switch exclusive, and then it's freaking Box Boy plus Box Girl. And then, like, I never play the game because I don't care about it, you know? So, so think about it that way, too, you know? I mean, I... I'm not saying that it's bad. I'm just saying I'm not big on puzzles and like what Box Boy or whatever is, you know? So, so yeah, man. I'm sorry that you had the, the IRS coming after you, man. But thank you for the donation. You guys give send some emotes to my boy. <laughs> Excuse me, to my boy, uh, 10th gen. Sorry about that, my man. Um, isn't it like a, it's like a puzzle platformer, isn't it? Box Boy and Girl or whatever. <laughs> Toby emotes. You're done. Oh, this man, Katana Riku, said that you're done emote. Oh, no. You know what, Katana Riku? I used to get you confused with the other guy, the Rinku, the crazy scrappy dappy do on Twitter. Because you guys kind of have like similar names, but you guys aren't the same. You guys aren't the same. Um, but I blocked that guy. The, scra the crazy Smash Brothers scrappy do guy. I got you guys confused. Um, cause his name was like Rinku or something like that, and your name is K Katana Rinku, so, or Riku, Katana Riku, so I got you guys confused, I used to think, I was like, wait a minute, this dude be acting completely different at times, but you guys aren't the same person. <laughs> I said, oh god, hello. <laughs> oh, he said, wow, what's crap, yeah, there's this crazy, there's this crazy scrappy dude guy that was on Twitter that was like, super smart, like a super smart with this crazy scrappy dude guy, like, all he does is sit there and talk smack and, Say that he's gonna beat people and cry and whine. This guy's a mess, dude. Like he's a complete mess. Like, so yeah, we kind of had a little bit of a run in um, uh, this past week. This past week, <laughs> where he challenged me to a, a match in Smash, uh, and it all started. It all started over him saying like me saying that Zelda doesn't need like I think G5 was talking about something about Zelda needing a nerf, and I was like, nah, Zelda doesn't need a nerf. You know what I'm saying? Like she's good, um, but like she doesn't need a nerf. Um, and then Katana Riku was like very aggressive, which started out, which is fine. That's fine. Aggressive is good. You know, let it out. You know, I don't have a problem with that. But the problem, what he did, it was like, he's like, what are you smoking, OJ? Like, oh, Zelda needs it. I'm like, so I quoted his suit. I'm like, bro, Zelda don't need a nerf. Like, she's, I mean, like, can you name any top players? Like, how many top eight she's been to? So it kind of went into that. Like, well, if she's so good and like, why isn't she making more top eights? Why isn't she dominating, you know, tournaments with top players? And then he's like, well, that doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't matter at all. You know, um, so then from there it went into, okay, well, I'm going to challenge you to a match, you know, because he said that he called me scrubby. Uh, well, actually, no, I called I called him scrubby. I was like, I was like, just because you're scrubby and you can't beat his like mid tier Zeldas because that's who he's losing to or that's who he's having issues with. He's not he's not playing anybody really good that uses Zelda because he's not a top player. Uh, so I said, just because you're, you know, you're, you're scrubby and you're losing to Zeldas doesn't mean that she needs a nerf. So then he got mad and said, oh, well, I can body you free. He said, you're chic and you're. Your wolf sucks. And I'm like, all right. I was like, my Shikimo, so I said, I'd body you. And then from there, that's when he was like, all right, well, yeah, let's play. But then he started putting a bunch of tweets saying, you suck. You're, you know, you're, uh, I'll random three stock you. He said, I'll pick randoms and three stock you. So then I'm like, all right, you'll pick randoms and three stock me. Okay. Then put some money on it then, because you got to put your money where your mouth is. You think that you're going to sit there and come into, you know, where I'm playing and you're going to sit there and you're going to say, oh, you're going to three stock me and body me and all this stuff like that with randoms. Okay. Then put your money where your mouth is. Otherwise it's just empty. And I'm not going to try to sit here and play you for clout. So then, uh, he, he refused. I said a hundred dollar money match. He refused. He refused on that. And then he kept on talking like all day. He was just like, just talking and crying and bitching all day. I just blocked him at the end of the day. I said, you going to play or not? He said, no. He said, all right, then I'm done. I'm done with this. So, yeah. Um, so that's basically what happened with the whole scrap. So I called him, so I called him Twitter scrappy dude. Um, because he's out here, like, he's, he's obviously biting off more than he can chew. If you guys ever watch, remember guys ever watch, like, Scrappy-Doo? Scrappy-Doo, like, like, let me at him! Let me at him! And, like, Scrappy-Doo would get his, like, butt kicked. You know what I'm saying? They, they have to save him from himself, you know? Because he talks too much, and he's, he's nowhere near as tough as he acts, you know? So I just call him Scrappy-Doo. Um, let me at him! Let me at him! <laughs> nowhere near as tough as he acts. He's, poor. this guy's trash. This guy's garbage. Um, but anyway, either way. He doesn't watch my channel. He just follows me and talks whenever he feels like talking. But he doesn't watch my channel. He doesn't watch my content. So, uh, but if you ever do watch my content, or if you ever, if you ever are here, uh, the the match, the the the, uh, the the match will still be on. You can still come and play. Hundred dollar money match, random. You know, all you got to do is random three stock me. You know, and uh, you can get a hundred dollars. So, it's it's still on. The, my deal is still there. Um, 
Let's see here. I hate Scrappy Doo. <laughs> Scrappy, you're done. <laughs> Zelda doesn't need to be nerfed. She doesn't need to be nerfed. Zelda's good though. Zelda's not a bad character. Zelda's a good character. Um, I think she's a solid mid-ish, upper mid-ish tier. She has, like I said, she has some very annoying things that can, and she can kill very early. She can kill very early. Um, Sean Diamond with the doll donation and says, play Shining Hearts battle theme, please. All right, we'll definitely go ahead and play that for you. Thank you for the doll donation, Sean. I do appreciate that. Um, and we can go ahead and get this, um, get this music going for you. Thanks, man. Shining Hearts. Battle theme. All right. All right. Let's see here. Zelda is trash. Um. Well, what's up, bro? How's it going? Zelda's definitely not trash. Zelda's definitely not trash in the game. She's just not the best, but she's not trash. Um. Let's see. Let's see here. Uh, Busy on says, um, he's trying to hide his tax money by donating to you. Who's trying to hide his tax money? Sean Diamond. Or temp gen. <laughs> um, I think you talk about Sean Diamond. He's a gym. Yeah. Oh yeah, Gunslinger. He's a gym. He's a that guy was a hundred percent gym. Hundred percent. And then he had some other gym. Some other some other dude that was like, that, no, why don't you just play him fair and square? Why don't you just why don't you just play him fair and square? He just want that as a victim. That thing is there yet. This other guy freaking tagging along. I'm like, shut your. Ass. First of all, this doesn't involve you. Okay, first of all, this one doesn't involve you. Second of all, second of all, don't sit here and talk about fair and square when somebody sits there and says, I'm going to random three stock you. No, that's not fair and square. You're coming out to try to embarrass somebody, plain and simple. You're not trying to play fair and square. That That's not fair and square. Fair and square is saying, hey, let's have a good match. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Like, we just play normal. We try to win. Okay, but when you sit here talking about trash talking, I'm going to three stock you i'm gonna pick random characters you're chic and you're wolf you suck blah 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 you're like when you start saying that is not fair and square you are putting in your own trash talk fair and square is, hey let's have a good match let's go let's let's try let's use our mains okay that's fair and square but saying all the other stuff that guy was saying that's not fair and square you had this dumbass on twitter sitting there uh, backing him up on everything i'm like who, who are these weirdos i don't know anything you know what i'm saying like who who are they like like he said, Crimson said I came at the right time, so you know, because like, I just want to. He just fair and square. No, that's not fair and square. That that is not a fair and square match. These freaking idiots, man. That how how is that fair and square? This man sit there and handicapped himself to hell and back. Random three stocks. How is that a fair and square match? It's that's not fair and square. The dumbest thing that I've ever heard. Um. I see, uh, LM, uh, gyms are, uh, are frauds, they get JV Ford. I mean, I'm not saying that the, the guy might have been, I mean, the guy might have been okay. But I mean, like, you gotta put your money where your mouth is. Like, if you start talking, like, in the Smash community, if you start talking about you're gonna three-stalk somebody, then you need to back, you need to put your money where your mouth is. You don't just say it and then that doesn't happen. You better put, like, a money, you, you gotta money match it. You gotta money match it. And I think, to, to be honest, Nairo didn't say this. But I think that's part of the reason why Nairo went Ganon. I think Ganon said, I, I think Ganon. I think uh, Nairo was like, oh, like to light, you know? Cause like they had a money match that they didn't tell anybody about at the last tournament they were at. And freaking Nairo picked Ganon from the very beginning because he was there was some type of some type of bet that they had or something like that. Like, cause they were probably talking smack back and forth to each other. You talk smack, you put money on it, plain and simple. Now, if you want to come and just play a match or whatever you think you can win, okay, that's one thing. But if you're talking smack and you're, you know, you're, you're, you're putting like, you know, your mouth is going off, then you put money, then put your money where your mouth is. If you're not willing to do that, then shut up, you know? Plain and simple. That's kind of how I see it. Um, put your money where your mouth is. And if you can't, then shut up and go away. Um, J2 Blue says, uh, what are some combos you can do with Joker? Uh, nair, nair, down tilt, uh, up tilt, um, to up air. It doesn't always work, though. I mean, like, you can also get, like, nair. Sometimes if you can cross them up, nair to forward tilt. Um, there's also some other things. I mean, Nair combos into a lot of different stuff. Sometimes you can even get him like with the up B as well. Um, also down air can get some combos into some stuff too. So just, you just gotta experiment. Um, I love how you go into improv mode, <laughs> improv mode. Yeah, man. Let's see, uh, talking smack, gotta show up to get body. Yeah, I mean, like I said, if, if you're gonna sit there and you're gonna talk on Twitter 
and you're gonna I, like I said, I was gonna play him. I was I was just gonna play him straight up. I was like, let's just shut this dude up. He's too cocky. But then when he's when he started doing all that other stuff, I'm like, okay, now you want to make this an event because you're making an event on Twitter. Like you're sitting there and you're trying. Like all my followers are seeing that this is what you're saying. Okay, so you want to turn it into an event. Okay, so if you want to turn it into an event, that means you're gonna be taking my time. You're gonna be sitting there. You're gonna try to embarrass me. Okay, well then let's make let's make it worth my time. So that means let's put some money on it because my time is valuable. You know what I'm saying? That's what my time is. My time is very valuable. I don't have time for people to be sitting there playing around and I'm sitting here playing this guy who's picking, you know, who's sitting and saying, I'm going to three stock you and then I play him and then he doesn't, you know what I'm saying? Then what? Oh, well, huh, there's nothing on the line. There was no stakes. So it doesn't matter. I don't care. I don't, he, he doesn't have any following or anything like that. So no, 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 no. That's not, that's a waste of my time. Why am I going to sit here playing you for what? What does that do for me? It does nothing. You're an idiot. So idiots like to be idiots and that's how they get off on their days being an idiot. So for him, the, the fact that he just even got a chance to play that fulfills him because he's an idiot. You know, whereas for me, what is what does that do for me playing some idiot who's saying that he's going to random three stock me? And then when he doesn't, oh, well, then what? What do I get out of that? Nothing. You guys don't get anything out of that. Nobody gets anything. However, if you want, if he says that and I say, hey, I got a match against this dude, hundred dollar money match. Let's go. Here's the date and time. People show up to that. You know what I'm saying? Because there's stakes. There's reasons. There's there's high stakes. It's the same reason why, for example, the second old challenge with with uh, with kids move. Why is why are people so interested and fascinated with that? Because there's a thousand dollars on the line. Because there's it's not just him. Can you beat the game? Okay, that's that's fine. People would not if if it was just him playing the game, people would not be showing up anywhere near as much. But it's the fact that there's a thousand dollars on the line. There's stakes to it to where it makes it more interesting because people are talking smack. People are talking trash saying you can't do it. You can't do it. Kids Move's not going to do it for free. You got, there's a thousand dollars, you know, like there, there's got to be some type of stake. So don't sit here and come up to content creators and try to waste their time. You know, any content creator with any type of following, they're not going to sit there and do it for nothing. Like, no, you're not worth it. Who are you? That's that's the problem with that guy. He doesn't realize that he's an idiot. <laughs> like, um. So, so yeah, um, let's see. I love when you go, uh, all right, I already read that. Um, let's see. Yeah. Nothing to gain. It's ridiculous. People still believe this way. Seriously, man. Like it's so dumb. Um, let's see here. Um, who's, who's your, my, my main, my main is, my main is Sheik, Wolf and probably Joker. Sheik, Wolf, and Joker. Those are my mains. Never challenge an entrepreneur. They're willing to bet their own uh, bet uh, bet their own money on themselves. Only children would have the audacity. <laughs> yeah, I know. Seriously. Um, uh, did not hear my answer, Dragon Gamer. What do you What are you asking, Dragon Gamer? What are you asking for? He said he said point blank. Said yep. Them fighting words. Them fighting words, man. Yeah, man. I mean, I don't know what he was thinking, but I would love to have him out here. Like I said, one of these days, if he ever actually watches my content, he doesn't. But if you're on Twitter and you're sitting there, you're talking to me, and you're asking all these questions and stuff, and you don't watch my content, that's a good way of getting yourself muted. You've got to, you got to show up. I ain't sitting here entertaining Twitter people. I don't. There's nothing. To, what Twitter doesn't get anything for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I'll I'll talk back to people and stuff like that. But I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and constantly entertain people on Twitter unless unless you're somebody that I know. You come out to my channel, you know, and you watch and all that. Then okay um let's see here uh is it pika pika what's up man thanks for coming out to the stream how you doing today thanks for the subscription appreciate that welcome to the village homie um let's see here michael Bryce says i haven't been able to keep up with all the streams the last few days that's okay i stream every day twice a day so sorry i um i know i know you've talked about it but what was your take on the retro studios tease and the gift of reggie i don't think it was actually a tease for anything man i think it was a, it was just like a it was just a, a gift that they gave you know um, but what, what do you think about it, Michael? Let me ask you a question. Some people are calling it kind of like a tease. I know, I know John, you know, talked about it and everything. I don't, I don't really think it was anything. I don't really think it was anything, but what do you, what do you think it is? I, I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Uh, I'm on the smash ultimate right now. Okay, cool. Cool. How you liking? Are you, uh, you, you pick up Joker Pika? Um, I don't know what that character could be though. Okay. All right, says, I wish people would only say things they would uh, they would say in real life. Uh, don't uh, talk smack if you can't back it up seriously. Um, like I thought it was a hand, a hand. Um, you don't have the doc. I think you meant the DLC. Damn autocorrect. Do damn autocorrect. It gets the best of us. Yeah, yeah, man. I mean, you should get the DLC, dude. Joker's dope. He's a cool character. 
Dawson thirty Dawson thirty one says uh, Reggie could have not sh uh, showed the gift, but you know you know um, how he is. Reggie likes to tease a lot. That's true, that's true. But I mean, like, what do you guys think it is though? Is it anything substantial? Is anything significant um, to this to this whole thing? So I don't know, man. We're gonna have to wait and see. Dragon Gamer says, do you have any anime currently watching or do you also have a list of anime you still need to watch? Yeah, my, my anime is Boruto, uh, My Hero. I still need to catch up on that. Um, yeah, Boruto and My Hero. Those are kind of the two animes that I'm watching right now. Well, I haven't really watched in a while. I'm waiting for a lot of episodes to go by that I'm going to binge watch it. Um, so, yeah, coming up, I, I'm just like really busy lately. Um, I will be taking a little bit of a vacation, though, like probably like June-ish, right before E3. I'll be taking a day where I take about two to three days off from the channel in terms of streaming so i'll probably catch up with anime and everything there um there will still be content but i'll just be taking a couple days off from streaming because um because yeah so i will be taking a couple days off in like in june or something my vacation so it'll probably be like a saturday and sunday so it'll be like a it'll be like a friday saturday sunday so you guys will get streaming throughout the week but just friday saturday sunday will be off so it'll be like right before e3 um Deadlock7 says, oh, hold up, never mind. I, there's some other stuff here. Um, let's see. Uh, Mav Intensify says, uh, this is just me theorizing, but I remember hearing someone talk about Nintendo going to Retro Studios for a shooter game that came up with a concept with robots. Maybe they still have the ideas left over from that and they're going to, be, they're going to use. Uh, okay, well, maybe. We'll have to wait and see. Um... Let's see. Uh, Michael O'Brien says, well, I think they just gave the the artist picture of the big characters they've worked on the, uh, and they wouldn't include just some random robot thing. So I think it's something new. OK. So, yeah. Uh, Deadlock 7 says, um, Dead, uh, in your opinion, from what you have played so far, what characters will Joker do best against and what characters will do best against him? Um, I don't really think Joker has any horrible matchups because he has a reflector, but I'm pretty sure that people will find out some more stuff. But I think where Joker kind of runs into maybe some issues would be characters that are like super strong, like characters that are super strong and can jab with them. So I mean like a Donkey Kong or something like that. I think that can give Joker some issues because Donkey Kong isn't a, isn't a ranger anyway. So it's not like you can get like Rebels Guard, like easy Rebels Guard. Um, so I would say things like that. I think Joker would do good against projectile based characters because he can rebels guard everything and get Arsene and more. Like, you know, that's the one thing that I noticed about a lot of Samus is, you know, they're out there shooting, well, just rebels guard, rebels guard, rebels guard, you know, and get Arsena a lot more and a lot faster. So I think Joker does well against projectile based characters, uh, but maybe more of characters that are in your face, Jabbers, Peach, you know, Pichu, characters like that, because Joker is a little bit lankier. Um, he might have some issues against uh, smaller characters that can jab, that, that, that can frame just as good as him or outframe him at times. Um, all right, take it easy, Gunslinger. Thanks for coming out to the stream, man. Um, so yeah, um, uh, Pika. Uh, yeah, now's not the time to um, advertise your 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 uh, your room, man. If, if you want to play Super Smash Brothers, simply just go on uh, go online. Um, go on to the quick play and just play from there, man. You, you just joined up, so people don't really know who you are yet. But maybe if you come out to some more Smash streams and everything like that, then people will probably be more willing to, to join up with you. But for right now, man, I mean, there's no need to come inside here and say, hey, you want to join? You want to join? Just just go to quick play, man. Just go to quick play and play some games there if, you, if you're looking to get some uh, looking to get some games. Or there's tons of arenas that you can go to, you know, um, that are public arenas and stuff like that, man. Um, so, but yeah, just do quick play. Just do quick play if you want to get some matches in real quick. Um Let's see. I'm terrible, dude. Well, I mean, well, the people here are actually really good. So, I mean, I mean, like, if it, it, so, I mean, it's not like you're going to get, like, it's not like you're going to run into people that are trash here. I actually have really, people, anybody that would actually join your room, like, you know, they're actually pretty good. So, I mean, like, I think your best bet is probably to go to quick play and you'll be matched up with other trash people because you're probably a low level, right? You haven't played yet. Like, so I think that'd probably be the best, your best bet would be to go to quick play and check it out there, man, before anything. Um... I say you deserve a break, OJ, working hard. Hey, yeah, I'm going to take a little bit of a break. Maybe two days. Maybe I'll stream Monday through Friday, and then Saturday and Sunday I'll take off. But it's going to be like right, be right before E3 um, I'm going to do that. So we'll see. Or maybe I won't stream twice a day. I'll probably just stream once a day instead. So that'll be a, that'll be a nice break for me. Like maybe just instead of two streams a day, one stream a day. Um, 
So yeah. Um, you think Nintendo will ever um, ever add Game Boy games to the Nintendo Online? Game Boy games? Um, I don't know, man. I, game Boy games just seem like super old at this point. So, so yeah. Um, somebody's telling me to check Twitter. Check Twitter for what? Um, <laughs> you said fight me. <laughs> Um, I can I can three stock you uh, three stock your Zelda I can three stock your Zelda with sideways Joy Cons one minute tops yeah it's a scrappy dude there <laughs> there you go man oh my gosh man um, uh, did I hear about the thirteen remake yeah I did hear about the thirteen remake it was, it's a uh, it's pretty cool it's actually pretty cool that thirteen's getting a remake on the Nintendo Switch uh, let's see here will we get a Mama Essence prediction for E three it's very possible that Mama Essence could be making predictions for E three we're gonna have to. Wait and see on that one, but it's very possible, very possible. Uh, Psychopath says, "Yeah, I'm right. Uh, I'm the best um, out of every uh, everyone combined. I can three stock OG with randoms. Don't at me." <laughs> that 13 remake. I mean, I think that could be really fun. Um, let's see if they add online multiplayer to that though. Uh, take four days off and maybe try to play some of your backlog. Never. No, I'm joking. Uh, my backlog will start getting. I'm I'm gonna start doing let's plays of my backlog, guys. So don't worry. Like Katana Zero. You, look, I got you guys two. Two let's plays of Katana Zero. That's that. That's a record right now. <laughs> you should just play it one time and that that's it. Or should you buy and that's it, dude? I got y'all got two let's plays of Katana Zero, bro. Forty minutes of gameplay of Katana Zero already. Don't worry, man. We 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 on it. <laughs> Dragon Gamer says I'm currently watching uh, Shield Hero and Yu Gi Oh anime. All right, nice, nice. Um. So yeah um oj oj has a backlog i have a ridiculous backlog it, the backlog go dates all the way back to the freaking ps2 all right take it easy pika thanks for coming out to the stream and thank you for subscribing i appreciate that my man um oh well, yeah that's twice the standard amount dude that's twice the standard amount of how long i usually play a game bro like y'all know how it is you know today so this is this is this is expeditiously <laughs> this <laughs> This is expeditiously content. You know what I'm saying? Like, we on that content expeditiously. <laughs> oh, my gosh, man. <laughs> um, let's see here. That's why you got to go. That's why you got to get the backlog. Yeah, I'll try, man. I'll try. I'll try expeditiously. <laughs> I'll expeditiously attack that backlog. <laughs> A backlog will be expeditiously attacked. This, this, uh, on my, on my prank. <laughs> she said, oh, okay. Um, all right, so keep the questions coming, guys. We're already an hour into the podcast. Yo, time flies, huh? Uh, let me see if Twitch Boy's got something to say here. Um, I think, uh, Mav Intensify says, I think Game Boy games would, uh, would be a nice touch for people, uh, nostalgic for them or interested in old games. Uh, could even be a fun comparison for Link's Awakening, but at this point, that probably wouldn't happen um, for a while since it took them over a year to put the NES game on there. Haha. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's true. I mean, Game Boy games are dope, but I mean, at the same time, I don't know how much, like, I mean, I think Game Boy games are cool, but I mean, man, there's so much other stuff that they can put, you know, like, I think a lot of people would be more, like, you know, happy with, like, GameCube or something like that, but maybe they have all of them, who knows? But considering how Nintendo still doesn't have, like, super nintendo yet or anything like i, I don't know man uh, i don't know might be tough might be tough for all that uh multi-plat gamer guy nice name by the way says um uh just started playing xenoblade chronicles 2 it's awesome dude xenoblade chronicles 2 is awesome it's a fantastic game it gave me one of, like the feeling that i got when i first played xenoblade chronicles 2 was the same feeling that i got when i first played chrono trigger and i was just like amazed and blown away by how awesome this game was um let's see is it a good idea to get a student loan for school hey man that's based on what you're studying and like on, on your financial situation so i can't answer that question i went to school for student loans uh, you know but i mean if i knew what i knew now at this point i would have never went to i would have never went to college at all you know so so yeah maybe well i might have still went to college but i might have i don't know i might have i might have made things a little bit different i would have done things differently probably wouldn't have played football probably would have just focused on studies and work I would have just done things differently so or i would if, if i did go to college i would have went to college just for japanese like i would have i would have been a japanese major i wouldn't have been like you know communication or kinesiology i would i would have done just japanese like complete and just be bilingual so i can 
you know, work for Nintendo or whatever, be a translator for companies or something like that. So I would have just done that instead. So it depends on what you want to do, you know? Um, 30th anniversary of the Game Boy bringing around a lot of nostalgia. Yeah, yeah, true. I'm still hope for Nintendo to put GameCube games. I don't know if it's ever going to happen, man. I mean, we don't even have folders yet or themes. Deadlock7 says, in fairness, we're getting Game Boy games in that Castlevania collection, I guess. That's true. We are getting Game Boy games in that collection. You're right about that. Um, uh, DJ Viper uh, says, with July being so busy, uh, will all your July live feeds be uh, gaming instead? Uh, no, no. We'll still have regular, you know, P you know, we'll just do gameplay videos. I'm probably going to do a lot of Let's Plays in July. I, I got to get those Let's Plays cranked out. So maybe at least five or six Let's Plays on each game, you know, like within the week. Like, don't slack on them. But then again, I don't want to blow up you guys' sub feeds with Let's Plays all day. So I don't know what I'm going to do. We're going to have to probably space it out. Some games might not get played as much, but we'll have to wait and see. <clears throat> Gamer for Life WD says, um, debate on getting uh, whether to get Katana Zero now or wait to for a sale since indies go on sale often i mean all you'd save is probably at most is like five or six dollars you know what i'm saying so like you could wait but at the end of the day like you wait and like you rob yourself of that time if you want to really play the game like which one's more valuable to you your time or you know or you saving like a couple a few dollars on the game so think about it that way now if you're talking about like a bigger game like let's say like a ps4 xbox one or like a bigger Switch game that costs like 60 bucks and like you can wait and save like 30 or $40, then yeah, that's different. But I mean, when it comes to indie games, it's like they're all cheap. So I mean, the biggest discount that you're maybe going to get after a while is like 50% off. And so at the end of the day, you're going to be saving like $7, you know? Um, so think about it that way too. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. Michael O'Brien says, "Do you think um, do you think that Nintendo need to give a deep dive into Mario Maker? The game could be huge, but a lot of Switch gamers never had a Wii U um, and could do uh, with the explanation." I think, yeah. I mean, I think people they'll they'll have videos on Mario Maker and all that. So I think it's gonna happen. Just you know, they're getting some of the other games out of the way first, and then June when June comes around, don't worry. There's gonna definitely be more content on Mario Maker. Trust me on that one. Um, I think Katana Zero will hold its value, though. A lot of people are buying the game. Um, Dank Meme says, The summer will be epic with the games, uh, teasing the Astral Chain. Uh, do you see Fall being as packed as July? Fall might be more packed. Fall is going to be more packed. There's going to be some some months in the fall where we're going to be like, oh, snap. Like Especially like around November-ish or so? Yeah, there's going to be some months that are just as packed, maybe even more. Um, so, yeah. LJ player Super Mario Maker 2, playing community members levels and raging. Yeah, I know. Some of you guys are going to be making these dumb levels. I already know because y'all did it with Wii U back in the day. Uh, yo, what's up, Abaddon? Good to see you here, man. How you doing today? Um, but yeah, I think Mario Maker is definitely going to get a deep dive. We're going to get into Mario Maker when it comes to it. Um, so, so, yeah, it's definitely going to happen. Definitely going to happen. Expeditiously. <laughs> Um, definitely gonna happen. <clears throat> um, I'm scared of Nintendo this year. It's not just July. We don't have dates for most of the games after July, but there's so many games, too many games. I don't know, but why are you scared, though? You know, I mean, there's E3, there's Nintendo Directs. You know they're gonna detail the, the like, the dates, so... There's no need to be like, are you scared in terms of way that you like, what are you scared about though? Like exactly. Like, we're going to get dates for stuff. So don't worry. Don't worry. It's going to come expeditiously. Like, it's gonna, <laughs> it's going to come, man. Don't be scared. You'll, you'll be good. Are you scared for your wallet? Is your wallet scared? <laughs> Michael O'Brien, your wallet's scared. Okay. I get it. Um, J2 Blue says this probably won't happen. Uh, but any chance of a direct happening next week? Probably not, man. Probably not. J2 Blue. Just enjoy Joker and Smash. Um, B More Akuma says, "Well, I got the dibs on the Black Panther or um, or Storm in Marvel Ultimate Alliance three. Once the ninjas be a part of the um, a part of the runs, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I'll probably do like a live streaming where we play with Marvel Ultimate Alliance, uh, where we play um, and together, and then I'll probably do like a single player run, like with the, with a heroic camera, like a her heroic camera run of the game as well. Um, so, so yeah, we'll probably do we'll probably do both." You know, Aaron says, my wallet's gone. <laughs> Avenge the fall on my wallet. He says, my wallet is scared for this month until I got my weekly paycheck today. Well, there you go. There you go. Um, <clears throat> um, 
I'm gonna let them just do it expeditiously. Um, all right, so let's check out what's going on here with some of the other stuff. What is this game? Oh yeah, Dragon's Dogma. Dragon's Dogma downloads coming up. Man, okay, so when is when is Dragon's Dogma actually coming out? Or actually, you know, let's actually talk about this just a little bit. I was gonna talk about Mortal Kombat 11. It's so funny because people have different takes on this game when it comes to the content. Um, a lot of people are saying that it looks like trash in dock mode, but I've been looking at, I've actually seen a lot of dock mode footage. Let me see here. I don't know. What's the, who's this guy? I've actually watched a lot of dock mode footage of Mortal Kombat on, on the Switch, and I thought it actually looks pretty good. But some people are saying it looks trash in dock mode. And um, I don't know, man. I mean, I'm looking at it, and I'm seeing the gameplay, and I thought it looks pretty good. Obviously, it doesn't look as good as the PS4 or Xbox One, and this is YouTube compression, but I mean, like... You know, I thought it looks pretty good. Um, personally, I mean, this is Mortal Kombat 11 running on the Nintendo Switch. Um, like I said, not as good as PS4 or Xbox One, but is this is this trash? I mean, I, I don't I don't see this as I don't see this as horrible, you know. Um, but hey, um, that's just me. So yeah, here's some of the footage of the game. Hopefully, this will probably get demonetized after that that X-ray or whatever. For that fatal blow. Um, but yeah, somebody got the game in like some other country or something like that. So he's playing it. Um, and yeah, I'm looking at it. I'm just like, yo, this is this is not bad. Um, this is not bad at all. Okay, hold up here. Okay, never mind. I thought I was going to be able to go all crazy with it. But like I said, man, this is, this is pretty good to me. In my opinion, at least. So there's the footage of Mortal Kombat running on the Switch. I don't want to play too much of it. Um, WB is also being kind of crazy, but yeah, you know, I don't want to run too much on there, but yeah, I, th I thought it looked pretty good. I thought it looked pretty good. The watch was going to get blocked. No, I didn't play enough. I didn't play enough footage for it to get blocked. You got to play a certain amount and it's got to be full screen for it to be blocked. <clears throat> but yeah, it should be all right. Abaddon says, I'm good, man. I'm taking a break for the weekend. Pops just treated me to a birthday dinner. Yeah, man. Happy birthday, bro. I know it was your birthday. So happy birthday, man. Uh, I'm going to go home and play some game and play some games. Shout outs, dude. Shout outs, man. Happy birthday as well, dude. Happy birthday as well. Uh, you've been you've been the cool you've been the homie, man. So thank uh, thank you for everything. And of course, hopefully you enjoy your birthday. Uh, you're not doing any streaming or anything like that. So, you know, not going to have anything like that. But I mean, thank you for thank you for being you. You're awesome, man. Make sure you guys check out Abaddon's channel, too. Um, let's see, it looks like crap. Not in 4K. Hard pass. Seriously. Seriously, man. Not 8K. Not 8K is not not good. Uh, not 8K, not 8K, not good. If it, if it ain't in 8K, if it ain't in 8K, then it ain't good. <laughs> uh, they went for frame, frames per second over graphics. The only, um, the only uh, really only shows up in the zoomed up bits with fatalities. People are criticizing those, but they can play more if it was 30 frames per second. I know, I understand that, but the game doesn't look bad, though. Overall, the game does not look bad. It's just like, oh, well, it doesn't look as good as PS4 and Xbox One, so therefore, but it doesn't look bad. That's the thing, like, people... That's that's my issue. It, I don't think it looks bad at all. It's, it, it looks okay. Like it just, and like the thing that I don't like is sometimes like people say, "Oh well, this is trash because it's not as like this system." But okay, that's fine. It's the Switch is a ten watt system compared to big old huge hulking boxes, you know. So I mean, I don't know. That's just my thought process, but whatever. Um, Artist Jackson with the subscription. Thank you so much, Artist Jackson. Welcome to Elite Ninja Village of Players. Does everyone in the chat please welcome Artist Jackson to the village? Um, Thank you for subscribing, man. Um, all right, so they went they went for frame rate over graphics. I think they even I, to, put, to be honest, man. I think they went for graphics and they went for frame rate because this is definitely one of the better looking games on the Nintendo Switch. Because the game looks better than okay, the game looks better than SNK Heroines, right? SNK Heroines is thirty frames per second on the Nintendo Switch and is technically worse looking, not art style wise, but from a graphical standpoint, is worse than the mortal Kombat, and that's 30 frames per a second on the switch and it doesn't look as good mortal Kombat on the switch looks way better than snk heroines and also has 60 frames per a second mortal Kombat is technically graphics wise more advanced than pretty much all of these fighting games that came out on the switch poke in tournament it's more advanced and looks better than that game graphically if you look at any of the fighting games that are on the switch you know 
So they went for graphics and they went for frame rate. I think they went for both. It's just the Switch isn't as powerful as the other systems. I think they went for both. There was a balance because even on the PS4 and Xbox One, if if the game was 30 frames per second on PS4 and Xbox One, it could technically look better. They can probably make the graphics look better too, but I think that's the whole key with any 3D fighting game. They go for graphics and they go for frame rate. It's not like one or the other, in my opinion at least. The game looks good and the game runs good. And... If it was 30 frames per second on PS4 and Xbox One, they could make the game look better graphically too. But they went for graphics and they went for frame rate, you know? Um, so that, that's that's my thought process on it. Uh, let's see here. It looks good. It, it's mostly lighting and texture. People expect too much. I think some people are expecting way too much. Yeah, some people are expecting way too much. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, Murdoch Walker says, people are, uh, people are ridiculous. It's either amazing or it's trash. Just like you said, a game can look pretty good, and that's a real uh, that's a real option. Exactly. Like, it can just look good, it's, or it doesn't look like doesn't look like this, but it doesn't mean it looks horrible. Like There's so much like black and white out there, man. Um, to my phone, since the tables die of battery. What? Hold up. To my... Okay, since you're saying that your phone, uh, you're switching your how you're watching. Okay. Uh, MK11 looks good on the Switch. It does. I think, I think it looks... I think it looks fairly solid looks fairly solid man um speed star 1007 says bought katana zero i'm really enjoying it seeing you are really enjoying it as much as i am yeah man katana zero is dope dude it's a great game uh nindy gamer says people will nitpick stuff when it comes to switch some people won't be satisfied until nintendo makes a box that's as powerful as the com competitors devices and all um and it gets all the third-party games well i think that's what everybody wants them everybody just to be the same everybody wants like the gamecube like era like gamecube ps2 and xbox where literally it was all the same everything was the same all the systems were the same everything the same 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 they don't want any type of game a lot of hardcore gamers don't want change they want the things to be the same like you get a new box and it's just better graphics, sharper, blah, blah, blah. That's it. That's all they want till the end of time. You know, they, they never want anything different. They never want anything new. They just want the same thing over and over, you know. So Nintendo doesn't play that way. I mean, Nintendo said multiple times that it's in their DNA to try something different, you know, to do something new, something different. That's just how they are, you know. So. So, yeah. Um. Michael Bryant says, the problem with MK11 on Switch is that um, even at 60 frames per second, 1080p, it will still be Mortal Kombat, and I'm not 11, yet, and I'm not 11 years old anymore. What, what does that mean? Are you trying to say Mortal Kombat's for kids? Um, top, uh, is it Su Sununder? I probably said that wrong. Anyway, TT, double T's. Says, honestly, I'm a bigger, um, honestly, a bigger problem for me with Mortal Kombat 11 is finding a good controller to play the game. Uh, from my experience, Joy-Cons and Pro Controllers are not that great for fighting games. Uh I mean, a pro controller would be fine for a fighting game. I mean, I don't see why a pro controller would be bad for a fighting game. Um, but if I guess if you still have an issue, um, a Pokémon tournament controller might be your best bet. Then try a Pokémon tournament controller. It's wired, has a big, a big good D pad. So try Pokémon tournament controller, um, and that should work on there. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> I meant to switch to my phone since my iPad is dying on battery. Okay, that's what you meant um mfs gameplay says hey man um how are you i'm doing good how are you um i've enjoyed the stream with you and mandy what's her name yeah her name's just mandy <laughs> yeah mandy yeah that's the pe podcast mandy she's um she's a youtuber she has a youtube channel called mandy lee plays and she's awesome she's really she's really funny um i would say a poke tournament controller would, would be good for a fighting game or I'd use a pro controller. I used pro controller for like Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle, and it was fine. But that's just me. <clears throat> I'm not sure what people are expecting. Even for a Switch port, it looks it looks pretty decent. This is one of the best looking games on the Switch. This is one of the best looking third party games on the Switch, hands down. Hands down. Star Wolf says Smash would be the most addictive game if the online system was rank up system was like Splatoon. Well, Splatoon's full of hackers, so I don't even play play Splatoon anymore. But um, I still find like personally for me, my most addictive game is definitely Smash Brothers because it's about getting better for me. Not necessarily about ranking up; it's just about getting better. It's like you know when you've gotten better in Smash. I mean, ranking up is great; that's fine. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it's about getting better, for me, at least. And, like, winning tournaments would be the thing for me. Not just, like, I'm the beta, best online master in the world, you know? Because, like, online is online. There's lag. There's other stuff that... There's other things that play a part into it. 
but like i want to win like, i want to win a tournament one of these days or i want to at least like top eight i want a top eight or i want to get like top 16 at like a 2gg tournament one of these days that that's my that's my goal and that's what makes smash addicting to me is like i want to one of these days i want to go to a freaking 2gg tournament in los angeles and get like be on stream and have all, all the ninja come over there and be like yo og's on stream playing and like a top and like not like pools you know what i'm saying i'm talking about like top eight top 16 top 32 where it's there's like t tens of thousands of people watching or something like that's like my goal in smash brothers so for me it makes that makes that's what makes smash addicting to me is like this like the, the strife to get better not being the best on like ranking up online who gives a damn at the end of the day i mean yeah elite elite smash could be better absolutely i've said the same thing star wolf like it would be better if the rank up system i mean i've said that a million times but at the end of the day it's still online there's a frame delay no matter what like you're always going to have that offline is where you're going to truly be like at your best and i just want to be at my best you know one of these days so um i haven't ran into a hacker um in months since the um for the time i had it well there's still hackers though hackers still post stuff um hackers still post stuff though like they, they still post up that they're still hacking the game so i mean you might not run into them but they're still there um i don't really run into hackers anymore they're still there though they're still posting things by the way guys i mean you might not run into them but they're still there um do you think mortal kombat 11 will have graphics performance options in the settings probably not probably not because i don't think they're gonna dip it below t um 60 frames so nah uh, Link of Hyrule says, um, heck yeah, OJ, keep going until you win a tournament. That would be freaking awesome. I just want to, I just want to top eight a tournament, a big tournament, which would be so difficult. I'd have to beat so many good players at a 2GG tournament to top eight it. Maybe like a Mega, a Mega Smash Mondays. Maybe if I can get like a, you know, top eight in that or something, that'd be cool. Uh, but I mean, I'd have, I don't, I don't live in Los Angeles. Like, I mean, I live near Los Angeles, but I don't live exactly. I'd have to drive there and like stay there all day. Like, and I'm, I'm working. I got a lot of stuff that I'm doing. So, so yeah um the most addicting thing about xenoblade chronicles 2 is that in the main game even though the post game there's so much locations whether regular or secret locations you can find yeah man exactly heck yeah oj keep going uh, okay yeah, i already read that uh so yeah so that's for me like i don't even care about i don't even care about my ranking to be honest i don't really care about rankings in any games anymore like i don't even i mean i like i'll do it for fun but i mean i just don't care like i don't care about splatoon's rankings i don't care about anything I just care about playing the game, having fun, and that's that. But yeah, it'd be better if there was a better ranking system. But I mean, I don't think that should deter you from playing the game. You should definitely play and get better at the game. Like, you shouldn't be worrying about, I'm going to be the best player online. Like, that shouldn't be the reason why you're playing, in my opinion, at least. That's just going to lead to pain and humiliation um, when you do that, when you when you think that way. Um, let's see here. And it's going to lead you to stop playing people that you lose to, because if you lose and you lose a lot of points and the person beat you, you're going to leave because you're worried about your ranking and you're not worried about getting better. So that's another thing that I've noticed that people who are worried about their rankings and how they do, even if they had a better ranking system, you'll leave because you're worried. And I've seen that so many times of people who leave the match, you know, because, oh, my ranking's about to go down. Oh, I lost a lot of points. Oh, let me just leave. Instead of getting better, let me leave. So ranking systems are like double-edged swords, you know? Um, it's great, but at the same time, people spend too much time thinking about that and actually deter them from getting better because they're sitting there worrying about their points and their rankings instead of worrying about them getting better at the game. I got slapped by a Donkey Kong like five times in a row and, and actually got out of Elite Smash with Joker. And then I stopped, and then the guy left the, the thing, and then I played another person that I was better than, and then I ended up getting better, you know? And like learning from that you know learning from it and said okay this is what i need to do and I, I felt that i played a lot better in the next matches that i had you know so yeah um i got we fit trainer to elite um in the most trash way what's the most trash way simply just oh i know what it is here's the trash way to get to elite smash like you play first of all like your global gsp is high right so if you already have a good global gsp and then you play the game and then you run into somebody who's trash and then you continuously play that same person and then you get into elite smash that's how i got joker into elite smash i played a trash king k rule three times in a row that had three minutes two stocks on stream and was in elite smash you guys saw it that that same day you know oh joker's in elite smash now you know like it's the drinking system in the game is silly it's just in general but like even like with games like pokin tournament like i stopped caring about the ranking system in pokin after a while you know so let's see here then don't have anyone lose points just don't gain any points if you lose what are you talking about just don't then then don't have anyone lose points just don't gain any points if you lose what does that mean what are you talking about um 
you talk about like what do you what are you trying to say like what do you like you want them to change the system like i don't care. like why are you talking to like just don't have any like go tell nintendo that like if you're talking about like, what the system should be there's nothing like go tell nintendo i can't do anything about that however to change it i mean but if you want to change it okay or talk about what changes you want to make go ahead man i'm simply talking about from just a pure standpoint in terms of just playing the game you should play to get better you shouldn't be worrying about points or rankings and that and that's with anything whether you're playing splatoon or whether you're playing anything either play to have fun or play just to get better at the game if you start worrying about rankings and points and all that then you're just gonna like i said you're gonna lead yourself to a lot more pain it's just plain and simple um email exactly email daddy sakurai there you go email daddy sakurai let him know let him know what you're thinking if they didn't fix the, if they didn't fix the Elite Smash after update 3.0, I don't think it's going to be fixed. Uh, yep, I played against Trash Mario with side B, spiked him three times just by staying on the edge uh, using side B. One game, um, um, all game for three matches straight. Exactly, you win three matches straight. If you have a high glow, uh, roster GSP, you win three matches, you're an Elite Smash. And then, oh, there you go, done. Um, I need to get my Ness into Elite Smash, and I'll have all the top row into Elite Smash. So I'm trying to get Ness. He's very close. But man, I'm really bad with Ness. Like I'm, <laughs> I'm really bad with Ness, and I lost so many games with him, and his GSP was so low. It was like at like 3.9 million. So I was, I did a little bit more work with Ness, but um, yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> the GSP system is clearly broken. I haven't gotten any characters in Elite Smash, despite being the best Smash player in history. It's a rigged system. There you go. There you go, man. You're having issues. You're having issues with this system. It's rigged. It's rigged, I tell you. Rigged. <laughs> oh, my gosh, man. Um, so, a lot, yeah, a lot of you guys are saying that you guys haven't had any issues with hackers. Mavent devices. I haven't really had any problem with hackers in Splatoon, but I'm not completely sure unless it's a super obvious hack. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes it can be a super obvious hack. You know, sometimes it's not as, as obvious. Maybe they're like slightly refilling their ink faster than what i mean you wouldn't know about that if somebody's refilling their ink a little bit faster than everybody else or a lot faster you wouldn't know you wouldn't know like they could be doing all sorts of stuff to me like splatoon 2 the hackers just really ruined it for me like i was enjoying splatoon 2 everything was great and then hackers just came in and just started like literally just started ruining everything man like it was oh gosh it was it was not good um I played Splat for the first time in uh, a week the other day, and the enemy had 24 kills. Well, I mean, people can still be good at the game. I mean, there are people that are that good that can rack up kills like that. I'm just saying, like, for me, like, there was just some issues with people that were hackers, you know. Um, so, I just kind of stopped playing it. So, yeah. I see players, even though there there are hackers, which I understand um, um, are still there, the game is still very fun to play, but understandable why you stopped playing. Yeah, it was just that, man. I mean, like, I don't know. I just got tired of it because, like, it was so obvious that, like, I was losing because of hacks. Like, people were teleporting out there. I mean, that could be lag, too, but... People were out there um, killing, like, one-shot kills, you know? Like, with, with not, like, with, like... Dual splat, one shot kills when I have no damage on me. Like there were just there was all sorts of stuff going on, and like there was people out there like showing Nintendo, oh look, I'm gonna hack my way all the way top to the leaderboards. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know. Like people take be taking Splatoon way too seriously. Some people take it to a point where they're gonna hack. You know, in Smash Brothers, you can't really. I mean, Smash Brothers, you'd be able to tell if somebody's hacking, like instantly. You'd be able to tell if somebody's hacking if somebody does a certain amount of damage. Or does something like, but like, there's no way to hack the game in that type of way to affect it, you know? At least not that I know about um, in terms of competitive play. So, so yeah, I rather, I just rather play that than sit there and like run into hackers. But it looks like you guys are saying that there's no hacker or there's very few hackers or you're not running into them anywhere near as much. So maybe we'll get back into it. But man, I haven't played Splatoon in so long. <laughs> Um, we need to get back into Splatoon. Maybe we'll we'll definitely hit up some Splatoon at some point, man. We'll get back into it. Um, so yeah. He said MFS gameplay says that why I stick to RPGs. People are scared to lose so bad they'll cheat. Yeah, people are scared to lose so bad they'll cheat or they'll just run away. Smash Brothers, they'll run from matches. But I mean, lately I've been getting some people who have. Although last night everybody kept on running. If if you're good with Ness. 
the chances of somebody running away are very high. People don't like Ness in Smash Ultimate. People really dislike Ness. Ness has so much jank. Ness is one of the most jank characters in Smash Brothers history. Not saying he's the best, but he's, Ness is just super jank, man. Like, everything that that kid does is jank. Like, his damn yo-yo going underneath the stage. It's freaking PK Fire jank. Um, PK Thunder jank. His PK Star Storm jank. Like, the dude, like, his whole moveset is jank. His whole moveset, like his back throw, his back throw is like these strong, like it's like freaking, it's like freaking Optimus Prime back throws you, you know what I'm saying? Like his back throw is the strongest back throw in the history of the world. Like he like picks up the world and throws the world out of orbit, man. Like it's, it's freaking ridiculous, man. Uh, people don't want to deal with PK fi spam nest. Yeah, PK fire spam. Yeah, exactly. People don't want to deal with PK fire, and like, especially online PK fire is trash. Like trying to, like trying to deal with PK fire. If you don't block it, you're just gonna. I mean, if you can't, you got to di back or out of it. But then they can anticipate. They can anticipate you diing back, so then they can throw another PK fire. You know, for you to get out of it. They then if you throw another one, then they'll hit them. If you're diing back, you can di out of it in certain ways. But like, it's just it's just annoying to deal with. So. So yeah, man. Um, I understand every time I get beat, it's a it's a hacker too. Yeah, seriously. Um, Sean Diamond says um, it's been months since I played Splatoon, but I recently got back into a group uh, which Mav is part of, and it's a lot of fun. Okay, nice, nice. DJ Viper says I just went out and bought Smash Brothers today. Yeah, I know I'm slow. I do need to play through the single player before going online. The single player is not going to help you online when it comes to that. Um, you can play through like classics and all that, but really. I mean, it seems like you're, you're a newbie. So, I mean, if, if you want to be good at the game, I highly suggest um, playing, pra going into practice mode and learning how to, like, do your combos and learning how to play from there. And then watching some videos on whatever character you use, watching some videos, and then hopping into online quick play and all that. But make sure you have the right rule set. Put it to seven minutes, three stocks, battlefield, or final destination layout. Put it to that. Make sure you're not, you're not going online. You're one of those scrubs that go online and leave it at the default. And your preferred choice of stuff and like you you out here like with stupid stages and all that but i would say practice go into practice mode maybe play some classic play against the computer and then go online and find out uh who's the best with your character so like if let's just say you use you like to use i don't know pichu go online and look up void you know go look up void although it's going to take you a long time to unlock all the characters so unlock all the characters that's what you should do play classic mode unlock all the characters or you can lock you can unlock all them through world of light so it just just depends or you can use, I think there's a cheating method that you can do or like a, a super boosting method that you can do. So look up that too if you want to. But yeah, the, the first priority is unlocking all the characters. Um, um, is Ness as bad as Meta Knight was? No, Ness is nowhere near as bad as Meta Knight was. Meta Knight from Brawl? No. Meta Knight from Brawl was just, he was just super OP. Ness isn't super OP. Ness is just really jank. Um... Didn't Wolf get nerfed? Who's going to be your main? Wolf did get nerfed, but Wolf's still going to be my main. Just because Wolf got nerfed doesn't mean he's not going to be my main. She got nerfed the hell and back, and she's still one of my mains. So, so yeah. Wolf got barely, he barely got, all all got all that got nerfed was just power to shields, like his laser. And also his, uh, I think his up smash, like the, the forward hitbox on his up smash isn't as big. That was altered. So, it wasn't really a big a big nerf at all. It was It was fine. Nothing really big. Um, isn't Wolf a spam character? I mean, he can spam his laser, but there's, there's ending lag after the laser. And some characters can actually duck right underneath it. Like, any character that can crawl can duck underneath Wolf's laser. Like, for example, like Sheik. Um, I know this genre isn't really popular nowadays, but I'm really looking forward to Grid Autosport on Switch. Yeah, racing, racing can be popular, but it's just like you're just holding on a button. So, at the end of the day. Um... Party message from what I've seen from my experience, uh, I ran into zero hackers. I enjoyed other players on Twitch as well as I haven't seen any hackers in their gameplay either. Okay, well, it seems like things are going better then. I ran into hackers though, and other people have posted many stuff about the hackers, but hey, it's all good. I'm glad there, it's a big game. It's a big game, and probably, most people don't hack in the game, so there you go. Uh, Michael O'Brien says, I think for a true beginner, the single player is a good tutorial. Some of the weird setups you. Um, you get thinking about how your characters play. I don't know if single players, in, in my opinion, I don't think I don't think that's a good idea. But that's just me. I, I I think that classic mode would probably be better. 
you know, or, you know, that would be probably be the best bet is like getting into classic mode, putting it on an easy difficulty, kind of playing around a little bit and seeing what's to offer in classic mode. And then maybe going into the, um, I mean, if you want to jump into the, the online, I don't think the single player is the best way to play the like, Cause like you're using a bunch of spirits and stuff like that, like world of light. Like that's not how the game plays normally. So I, I'm going to have to disagree with that, with that assessment. <laughs> I'd probably say maybe classic mode might be a little bit better for you and then hop into like some um, training or hop into like just some smash against the CPU and then go online. Um, but I don't think, I don't really think world of light is a good tutorial at all in terms of things before you go into online, but that's just me. Um, <clears throat> Let's see here. Psychopi says, what do you mean by raising GSP in single player? Um, I remember you saying that you, you can raise your GS, uh, you, your online GSP by playing classic mode or something like that. I might be wrong. Yeah, uh, your GSP global smash power can um, raise slightly uh, by playing single player elements of the game. But where your GSP is going to raise the most is online, of course. Um, I, I actually really enjoy the spirit battles. Uh, lots of interesting combinations, rule sets, etc. I like how the kind of characters they sort of... Um, um cosplaying or um cosplaying cosplaying of sorts yeah it's cool but i don't know if it's the best way before you hop into quick play online or ranked like i don't think that's the best like playing world of light with spirits and all these different stupid things coming at you i don't think that's the best way to get a hold of like the game mechanics and everything in terms of it because that's not going to be the case online you know uh, when you go into quick play in, in terms of how most people are playing the game that's not going to be the case so that's the reason why i don't think it's necessarily a good tutorial or anything i think like classic mode would be a little bit better because there's no spirits um there's some regular battles in there um you you fight against a variety of characters uh, you know in the classic mode that are themed and then um, you unlock characters that's another way to unlock the characters as well probably a little bit faster than world of white so so yeah um he said 13 1300 hours in splatoon and never encountered a hacker but how do you know that you never encountered a hacker do you have a, a hacker a hacker beep like a thing that says beep 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 hacker hackers here hackers here hackers here like do you have something that 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 tells you whether there's a hacker or not so that's what i don't understand some of you guys are saying well i've never encountered a hacker well how do you know there wasn't a hacker in the game how do you know like it's not like it's not like he has a big h on his forehead under like like hey guys i'm a hacker hey guys it's not like he's out here doing the freaking Luigi saying I'm a hacker. Like it's not like he's out here saying, "Hey guys, hacker in the room, hacker in the room. How's it? How's everybody doing today? You guys, you guys ready for some Splatoon? You know, like how do you know that you have it? <laughs> All right, take it easy, man. Uh, take it easy, Michael. Thanks for coming out to the stream. Um, Amiibo fan says uh, because he wasn't OP. Yeah, but how do you know? You never know for sure. You could have had somebody who's a hacker. You could have. There could be a slight thing that they did. You don't ever know. You don't know for sure. You can't sit here and say, oh, well, I played for this and I never experienced it. How do you know? When hacking is so prevalent in a game, which it was, how do you know that they're not? Um, that's, that's the only thing that I, that I don't understand. Like, There's no way to say that, oh, you say, oh, I've never encountered. How do you know? They weren't OP. How do you know they weren't OP? exactly and just uh, well they're hacking and they're still not good because i destroy them well i mean somebody could be a hacker and still not be good at the game you know what i'm saying like that that's also another thing i'm just saying like to sit there and say that oh well i've never encountered or it doesn't happen i mean I, i'm saying it does happen because it was obviously pretty prevalent that people are out there hacking stuff we had dudes hacking straight to the top of the leaderboards we had dudes literally calling nintendo out saying look i'm hacking i ran into it multiple times i saw it Maybe, maybe some of you guys are so good, it doesn't matter. You can still beat them with them hacking. But that doesn't mean it doesn't happen. That's all I'm trying to say. Um, I think the Splatoon hacking thing was overblown. It was a problem, but it was not a, that big of a problem. Look, look, here's the thing. I'm not trying to sit here and say that the game was completely ruined by hacking. I'm not trying to sit there and say that. I said, for me, it ruined it kind of for me. Now, did it ruin it for everybody? No. No, it did not ruin it for everybody. Did it ruin the game in general? Did it did it stop people from playing? Absolutely not. There's still people that are playing it expeditiously. But I'm just saying. <laughs> but I'm just saying for me, it was just an, it was a little bit of an issue. It was a little bit of an issue, so I just moved on to other things, you know. Um, so, so yeah, man. Um. Oh yeah, the hackers were the hackers are always all over 3ds. The hackers were all over. Bro, I remember fighting. I remember fighting against even dating back to like Pokemon Battle Revolution. 
I fought against a dude that literally had, this man had like a golden Mewtwo. What was like? <laughs> this man had a golden Mewtwo that knew moves from like future generation Pokemon games that aren't even out yet. This dude knew, knew moves from Pokemon X and Y, even though X and Y wasn't even out yet. This man had moves from there. This was the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. This man had a golden Mewtwo. This man had the this man had a the evolution of like freaking Dialga and Palka or whatever. Man, this man had Pokemon that were not, not even real in his game. This man had a golden Mewtwo. Yeah, golden Mewtwo. Jose was the worst luck ever, I swear. No, it was just it wasn't like it was every single time that I played Splatoon, there was hackers. I'm just saying that there was enough times where it pissed me off. It was a few times. A few times is a lot. It's a lot to me. It wasn't like it was every time. Nah. Just a few times. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> you can tell uh, based off the uh, kill slash points they have and if you die in a weird way. Um, you talk about hacking? Yeah. Um, hacking in Pokemon, in, um, for instance, doesn't matter anymore thanks to Gen 7 improving breeding mechanics and hyper training. Yeah, but people can still hack and do things and do things to the games, though. That's the problem with Pokemon. That's what I ran into with Pokemon um, Diamond and Pearl Online. Everybody freaking hacked it, dude. That game, it was so hard to get legit wins in that game because people were freaking stupid hackers. Um, unfortunately, um, or fortunately, hackers in games are usually not as good at, at them. That's why they need to cheat. Oh, well, most anyways. Yeah, but some of them are actually really good and they're just losers. Some people cheat just because they're losers and they, like, they're already okay, but they still want to cheat. Like, I had people cheat, like, what was it? Like, back when I used to play, like, Pokemon, the trading card game, I used to go to Toys R Us and play. There was this kid named Sam, big old fat kid. He kind of stunk at times, too. And um, he used to always sit there, and, like, he was good. He had he had a Rainmaker deck, right? And nobody could beat this dude. Nobody could beat this dude. So I had a Haymaker deck. So we're talking about, like, the Gen 1, right? I had a Haymaker deck. And I'm like, you know what? And, like, I've been trading. Like, I'm like, look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beat Sam. Like, this dude always won the tournaments every single weekend. This dude would sit there and win like little turns we would do. I'm like, man, I'm gonna beat this dude. Like, I'm gonna make a haymaker deck. So I started collecting haymaker like plus power or what was it? Plus powers and all that and super energy removals because I knew this dude's raymaker deck was freaking oh was, was like amazing. So I used I used the I used the um, you know the haymaker deck and I beat him. Next time I played him the next week, this dude straight up cheated. This dude was sitting there slipping off certain cards, putting cards on. I saw him. I'm like, what happened to that card? He's like, nothing. And this guy was way bigger than, I mean, he was like a little bit older than me. So, I mean, like he was intimidating, but I'm like, man, I ain't playing with this cheater no more. So he was already good, but he still cheated. You know what I'm saying? Like he, he cheated and he beat me, but he cheated. You know, I'm like, I'm, I, I was like, I ain't playing with you no more, man. You're a cheater. You know, so sometimes people are still good, yet they still cheat, you know? Um, if you were to add a character from a beat-em-ups game to Smash, who would, it, who would you add a beat-em-up game? I don't know, man. Give me some examples, like like ter like what was it like Final Fight or stuff like that. I'd add like double like a double dragon character. I'd like I'd like Bimmy, not Billy, but I'd add Bimmy, particularly Bimmy, um, from Double Dragon to 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 Super Smash Brothers. Um, let's see. Your Dragon Gamer says someone uh, someone in the Discord. Uh, I am here. She run into a hack in Splatoon Two. OJ, okay. Uh, Melface guess I found a hacker in Mario Kart uh, Wii. He teleported instantly into first place right in front of me and also hacked the item boxes so they would only give him uh, boost mushrooms. Oh, yeah, Mario Kart was notorious for hackers, too. Mario Kart as well, yeah. Mario Kart DS and Mario Kart on the Wii. Uh, there's no problems with online anymore with Pokemon. Even if you hack, the stat has to be uh, the stat has to be legal or it's an auto ban. Okay, cool. Good, good. That's good to hear. Um, let's see. I'd add a Homer Simpson then. <laughs> yeah, man. Homer Simpson from the, the, the Simpsons arcade game. That game was dope back in the day, dude. Um, yeah. Mario Kart cheating was so funny. Oh, well, people just flying. Yeah. Yeah. Out here in a cart flying. <laughs> Mario Kart, Mario Kart, we was brutal for the hackers. They just spam items. Yeah. Yeah. I used to, I loved Mario Kart Wii too. I thought Mario Kart Wii was really good. I thought it was really good. Um, if I could have the game on the Switch for 20 bucks, I'd buy that um, beat em up immediately. Yeah, I'd buy it too, because it's really good. I'd buy it as well. Uh, Deadlock7 says, true cheaters are the only cheating themselves in the end. Shortcuts will uh, stop from learning. Quick fixes are never to answer. Exactly. And then when the game changes or when, you know, when it comes time for you to actually learn, then, oh, you're in trouble, you know? So, so yeah, man.
What's that? Um, all right, guys, we still got about 15 minutes left on stream. Or actually, you know what we're going to do? We're probably going to, um, we'll take a few more questions and then we'll end it a little bit early just so we can get ready for the stream tonight with Super Smash Brothers. Uh, so once again, if you do want to get into Super Smash Brothers tonight, you can member up um, uh, and you can get into Smash Brothers tonight in our private Discord. So I'll put the link in the chat. So you guys check out that link right there. They'll get you right to our membership channel. Um, or you can go to Patreon, um, link in the description below. So we are going to be playing Smash tonight um, in the community. So look forward to that. Uh, you guys can start signing up if you want to. Uh, so if you want to go sign up on the Discord, go ahead and go sign up on the Discord. Um, and yeah, I'll answer a few more questions. And then we'll probably stop it just a little bit before two hours. And uh, it's just so we can get ready for the Smash stream. So yeah, there we go. Um, I wouldn't mind Alex Stone from Streets of Rage series. I'd like uh, Skate. Yeah, Skate from Streets of Rage. That'd be cool to have him in there because he'd be a different type of character. Arctic Witch with the 10 bits, with the cheer 10. Thank you so much. Appreciate that, Arctic Witch. Thank you for the 10 bits. Um, already signed up? All right, cool. Is there a stage you hate in Smash Ultimate? I hate all the stupid stages in Smash. I, I, I hate. There's a lot of stupid stages in Smash Ultimate. Stages that like, kill you and stuff, I hate all of them. I hate all of them. Or like that one stage where like you turn upside down. What is that? My Pokemon stage? That's the dumbest thing ever, dude. Like you turn it upside down. Um let's see here. Uh is there a state okay, I already read that. Um I am just hoping Koei Tecmo gets a character in Smash Ultimate. They could. Uh, Mario answers, did you see Phillips Phillips apology video? I did see it already. We were we reacted to it. Party Man says, uh, people hacking in Mario Kart Wii made me quit playing online. It was it was so annoying. Yeah, it was it was really annoying. I stopped playing online because of that too, kinda. Uh, so, so yeah. Yeah, the thing about it, Aron, like, I know you're talking about people who spend the time getting shinies, but, I mean, when you have, like, shinies on all legendary Pokemon and their stats are all crazy... <laughs> No nah, man, I I I I don't think you did that legit. You out here having shinies on the your 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 lineup consists of all the legendary Pokemon from Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, all shiny, shiny Mewtwo, shiny everything. I don't think I don't think they I don't I think that was I think that was hacked. I think that I personally think that was hacked. Um, but that's just me. That's just me. I mean, you can only run into them like one time. You know what I'm saying? Like you can only run into them once. So. So yeah, yo! Shout out Andre Wine with the Toby Buster. Let's go, Andre Wine with the 15. Show him the support for the Ninja Village. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, Dragon or hold up, Deadly Dragon or Black Lagoon. But thank you, Andre Wine for the 15. I appreciate that, man. I really do. No message. He just donated 15. So that does make you the top stream ninja. Also, the stream boss as well. So, shout outs, man. Thank you. I appreciate that donation, homie. I really do. Um, you guys give some love to Andre. I don't think I've seen his name in the chat. Here. He's just he's just chilling and watching. So, thank you, Andre. I appreciate that. Let's get your name up here, man. Um, thank you for the Toby Blaster. You guys give some loves. Give some emotes. If you got those emotes, please remember for my boy, Andre. My man really helps out with the channel. Giving away a lot of switches and things like that. So, um, Andre... H Y N E. All right, with the fifteen. Thank you, my boy. Um. All right, so shout outs, man. Thank you, I appreciate that. Got that full health bar right over here as well. Probably will end the stream with, as the top stream ninja. Um. Let's see. If you only use legendaries as your team, you are trash. I I agree. I agree. If you're going online and all you're doing is using legendaries all day, you're trash. Exactly. I have to 100% agree with that statement. You're trash. If you're sitting there using all legendaries, this dude got, a, I mean, in Pokemon Battle of Revolution, this dude got all legendaries. This dude got all legendaries and all shiny. It's like, okay, right. You know? Okay. Um, nah, I'm, I'm hating. If you have all legendaries and all shiny and you're playing online, nah, bro. I ain't sitting here. I'm, you, you didn't do that legit. I'm sorry. You did not grinding shine like you there's only one opportunity to get them you're gonna sit there really and restart your game five million times for all those legendary pokemon for shiny that's bs dude there's no no way there's no way he did that legit 
I don't think he did. Um, all right, take it easy. Uh, oh, okay, Murdoch, welcome. Nice, nice. Yeah, we're going to be starting up pretty soon here. Um, yep, people do. I know people do that, but there's no way that he did. There's no way that he did that legit because they were all way too good. I don't think he did that. People do it, but I don't think he did it legit. Um, I don't think he. I don't think he did it legit, in my opinion. I think he modified. I think he modified his chances some way using a game, like using back on like the DS action replays. You can modify. You can modify the source codes or not source codes, but you can modify things. So yeah, he probably legit got it in the game in terms of like okay he didn't like make the pokemon himself but i think he modified or he did something to help him get like his chances to get a shiny pokemon i think he did that's my opinion i know people do it um and i know soft resets are a viable tactic but there's no way you've got six pokemon and they're all shiny and they all have these crazy stats to them Nah, nah, there's nothing you guys can sit here and make me say that this dude did it legit i don't think he did at the time that we were playing the game i don't think he did um, I think he, I think he used, cause there was, a, there was action, re there was very easy, like y'all acting like it wasn't hard to sit there and modify your DS to get shinies or to modify things to cheat. Like y'all acting like it wasn't hard. It was hard. It, you, there was very, there's numerous two tools to help you modify things for DS games. Like it was really easy. Okay. So to sit there and say, oh, well, you know, oh well, yeah, he, he was grinding. Nah, nah, I don't think he grinded nothing. Um, I don't think so. Um, Nintendo already had a Stranger Things three trailer, and I'm not really interested in that game too much, Matthew. But um, yeah, I think they already they already did a Stranger Things three trailer, um, unless they put up another one. But they already had one. I've seen the game looks cool, but uh, yeah, not really. I'm not really too interested in it. But uh, yeah, for those who are interested in it, cool. Check it out. New uh Stranger Things three trailer. Uh, Pokemon hacking down to us the uh, K P K H hex, which played pokemon 3ds games okay yeah, i got an action replay like five years ago and it's super easy yeah i mean uh the shiny hunting the shiny hunting her, um community is crazy and they'll spend days soft resetting uh to get uh to get one pokemon yeah they'll also spend days doing or they'll spend a couple little bit acting like they do that and let's see here Let's see here. I was gonna hit you with a lot with the last minute buck bumble, but I'm about to head to bed. It's, it's so showering, so that support before I go. All right, shout outs, shout outs, Andre. Shout outs, Andre. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> also, shout out to Deadly Black Lagoon with the Twitch follow. Thank you, man. Hey, but thank you for the support, though, Andre. I appreciate that, homie. Thank you so much, man. It really does help out. It really does. Um. All right, boys and girls, let's keep it going here. We got seven more. I guess we're gonna go the full two hours. We're, we're already here, so. I guess we're gonna go the full the full length here. Um, so yeah, what's an action replay? It was a way to cheat, like a way to cheat, hack your game, add different things, kind of like a game genie or like a game shark or something like that. Fifty thousand soft resets. Um, um, I'm talking about uh, in general the dude you played probably did hack. Oh, okay, the dude that I yeah oh yeah I know he hacked yeah I know he hacked I know for a fact he hacked. Well, no, I don't know for a fact, but I know, like, because, like, you know, in Pokemon Battle Revolution, you can, like, after you beat them or after they beat you, you can see their, their trainer card, right? And get their, like, trainer card with all their Pokemon on there. And I was looking at this dude's stats, and this dude's stats were, like, maxed out. Like, everything was maxed out way more than what that Pokemon should even be available, like, what it should be available for. It's, like, the Pokemon, like, Mewtwo has very particular weaknesses, right? Like, Mewtwo's defense and certain things. This dude's Mewtwo was the greatest Mewtwo in offense, defense, speed. This dude's speed was, like, 500-something. Like, speed was, like, deep defense was, like, 400. It's, like, how? How? There's no way. This dude's, uh, this dude's physical attack was, like, 375, 380. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything, his special attack was, like, 500. It was just, this dude had the craziest stats on this Mewtwo. There's no way. Mewtwo has very clear weaknesses, you know? And there's no way. Even if you get a good, na like, a good, you know, a good uh, natured Mewtwo, you know, um, with the right EVs and all that, there's no way that you'd have the stats that he had. Um, there's no way he'd have those IVs and EVs. There's no way. It was way too high. It was way too high. This dude had the greatest Mewtwo in the history of Mewtwo's. Yeah, there's no... Exactly. Arlon, thank you. There's no way in hell Mewtwo's defense reaches 400. Exactly. This dude's defense was like 400. It was a ridiculous amount. Mewtwo has trash defense. Even if you have the IVs and EVs great and a good nature. Mewtwo's defense is still trash. You know? And, like, the fact that this dude was at 400... 
like no way, man. Like this, I, I wish my 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 Wii bricked. I wish I can show you guys because I still I saved this card, and if I can ever boot up Pokemon Battle Revolution, like if I can get my Wii fixed. I need to get my Wii fixed. Get my Wii fixed and boot up Pokemon Battle Revolution. I can show you guys this card. Because I still remember it. Still to this day. This is like... How many years ago now? This is like 12 years ago, right? This Pokemon Battle Revolution came out in like 2007. But still to this day, I remember this guy. <laughs> I still remember I still remember this guy. I, re I remember really odd things about me playing games back in the day. Like in Ranked and all that. There was this guy. Um, I remember his name was... He was a, he was a hacker. And Madden, this guy cheated in Madden all the time, or at least with me, he cheated, and he broke my streak. I was in the top 1,000 for Madden, and I was playing this guy, and he just put me on a losing streak, man. But he was the guy that started it, and his name was Kobe R. Tough. <laughs> I'll never forget this dude's stupid username, Kobe, K-O-B-E, R, capital R, so it was capital K, uh, lowercase O B like Kobe Bryant. So like Kobe and then a capital R, a capital T, lowercase U, lowercase F, lowercase F. Ka Kobe R tough. I'll never forget him. He cheated in Madden, dude. He was a freaking cheater in Madden. Oh my gosh. And he broke my streak. I had a 25 game winning streak and he broke it, dude. Uh, my Wii bricked. Yeah, my Wii just bricked, dude. It's old. Um... <clears throat> Let's see here. Uh, Mewtwo's max defense 252 with EVs. Um, at level 100 is 306. Exactly. This dude's defense was like at 400. Dude's defense was like at 400, man. How do you manage to cheat in Madden? There's all sorts of ways to cheat in Madden. People were hacking PS2s back in the day, man. Like, you can, you can boost your player's stats. Like, some people had cheats to where, like, you know how you can affect, like, let's say you can bypass the servers, like the server verifications on Madden servers. So, like, let's say you used it, like, you um, played, like, your team and, like, you boosted your stats. Because you can, uh, you can change the stats in, like, the Madden games and stuff like that. There were people that could bypass the verification for using the, the default base teams in terms of, like, the online and play with their custom teams where they boost the stats of players. This dude... This dude's players were way too big because here's what the thing. When you press the start button, you can check the other team's players and stats. This dude, who was it? I forgot what his, I think who was he using? He was using, oh man, who was he using? I think he was using the Raiders. I think it was like Kerry Collins. I forgot who he was using, but his quarterback stat was way too fast. His stats for his running backs were like 99 in speed when they weren't 99 in speed. Like I checked and like he was clearly cheating because he had stats for certain characters that were not that, like 99 in speed for like the running back, the receivers, the slot receivers. And I'm like, what the hell? How does he have 99 in speed? Like there was barely anybody 99 in speed that year. I think there was like maybe like Dante Hall or something like that. That was a 99 in speed or like Michael Vick. I'm not really sure, but I don't even know if any of them were. I don't think anybody was 99 in speed, but this dude had 99 speed running backs and receivers. Like he cheated. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. He was definitely a hacker. Exactly. Mewtwo's max defense is 306. There you go. Um, my friend punched a hole in his wall because I'm mad in dude. Co no, it was like, oh no 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 no, you spelled Kobe wrong. It, it was this. It was this. It was it was like this. Kobe Matthew. It was this. It was Kobe R. Tough. It was, that's what his name was. It was it was that. It was Kobe R. Tough. That's what his name is. He was a cheater. I saw this dude was cheating, man. <laughs> It was so the back in the days of Madden, dude. The Madden lobbies, man. Oh my gosh, man. I just remember being in Madden lobbies and playing people. Like you used to be able to go into these rooms, right? Madden had these custom rooms that you can go into and people were playing based on your skill level. <laughs> and like you can see their ping and see if you want to play them or not, if they have good connections. Oh my gosh, dude. Those were the days. <laughs> I'd go to football practice, come home and play Madden all day. Go to football practice, come home and play Madden all day. Go to football practice, come home and play Madden all day. That was my life for 2000, 2003, 2003, or actually pretty much throughout high school. Go play Madden, play Madden at home, then go to football practice during the summers. The summers when Madden would come out. Oh my gosh. Nuts. Absolutely nuts. But all right, guys, that wraps it up for this one here. That is uh, two hours on this stream. We're going to get ready for the uh, for Super Smash Brothers tonight. If you want to play, remember, make sure you guys member up. Member up if you do want to play um, tonight. I will put one more link to that if you do want to join up as members. And uh, you will have a link on the uh, to the community page, you, or you can just show up to the live stream and say, "Hey, LJ, you know, I, I membered up." 
So go ahead and check out there if you want to member up. I have the link, and that'll take you straight up to there uh, to where you can member up. Or you can do Tier 2 or Patreon up and remind me um, during the stream. Uh, so we are going to be playing some Super Smash Brothers. If you want to watch more content for today, so let's say you missed some content that we did already or you're looking to watch more content, we do have a Katana Zero gameplay up on the channel, so go check that out. We also have uh, a Switch video that I did this morning where I have a big problem with the Nintendo Switch. Big problem with the Nintendo Switch. So you guys, check out my uh, big problem. Big problem with the Switch in July. So make sure you guys check out that video if you haven't already done so. And we also have Players Cross Crossed Nintendo. So if you want to watch my replay of what we did earlier today, Players Cross Crossed Nintendo 169, that is up on the channel as well. Actually, no, it's not up on the channel. I'll make that live on the channel right now. <laughs> I'll make that or I'll make it live later tonight. But anyway, yeah, Players is Cross Nintendo. That that is uh, that will be live in a little bit. It'll be live later tonight. So you can check that out. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, and uh, make sure you guys, uh, we're going to be streaming very soon here. We're going to have Super Smash Brothers. So uh, look out for that. All right, guys. See you soon. Peace.